Okay, uh, last session, uh, session 126, uh, there was some mingling prior to the auction starting. Um, Lady Magnolia had approached Tilda and asked her if it was alright for Galloway to meet Nemreen. Uh, he had a present for the cleric, uh, so Tilda agreed to take him to the library. So most of, by this point, most of the party was either mingling, keeping watch, or doing both. Uh, Shadok and Persephone were, you know, just chilling by some of the uh, to be sold items when Persephone noticed that pastries had snuck away. Uh, luckily, she was spotted going into the kitchen. Uh, and while, you know, Melanie and the group of kids were heading to the kitchen, uh, a sugar glider slash flying squirrel was spotted on the ceiling. Uh, thinking this creature could be a druid, Melanie contacted Tilda through the brooch. Uh, Galloway was sent to the kitchen to feast on cookies along with Shadok and Persephone and pastries. Uh, Rain was also brought into the discussion because they thought maybe, you know, Leo could talk to the, to the squirrel. Uh, so while those, while those discussions were going on, uh, Zantari just polymorphed it into a fly so they could be dealt with later. Uh, during this time, Ronnie noticed that one of the merchants uh, kind of looked sketchy and nervous. Uh, the turtle informed Rain about him. Uh, the mer merchant in question they found out later on was one Scott, S Scott Haxwood. According to his fellow merchants, he had been sparse of, as of late, not partaking in any of the local gambling uh, activities. Uh, there was another individual that was observed, a halfling woman uh, by the name of Eris uh, Cote. Uh, she had apparently given some quick disapproving looks at Scott. Uh, the pair seemed to be interested in the buyers and not the pieces that were to be auctioned off. Uh, eventually, Zaitari took care of the fly, <laughs> uh, took it outside. Tilda got Galloway from the kitchen, uh, took him to see Nanreen. And then he gave, uh, Galloway gave him a carved symbol of Ayun he'd been working on for a while. Uh, while that was all happening, the castle's cook, uh, chef Stonebreaker, uh, was yelling at some varmint in the cellar. Turned out to be a dire badger once, uh, people went down to see what it was. Uh, the dire badger was hit and, well, I said bonked. Bonked and it disappeared, uh, which it was uh, concluded that this uh, animal was summoned. Bag of tricks, that kind of thing. Um, the auction started shortly after. Uh, a couple of the party members bought things. Ronnie bought a ring that Marin was eyeing. Zaitari bought some jewelry for himself and the medallion Tegan was eyeing earlier. Rain bought a sketch of a mule. Uh, the party continued to... Weird. Weird. Uh, the party continued to keep an eye on the suspicious merchants and also keeping an eye on who was buying the magical items that were up for auction. Uh, the iron flask, which was <coughs> to be the most expensive of the items, went to fifty grand for fifty grand to a uh, bearded individual with a wide brim hat. It was later revealed mm. by Tilda that <coughs> this was actually an adult Galloway who had traveled through time to buy the flask because he needed it for something. Once he explained himself, he let uh, he was let go. Um, auction ended. Uh, gifts were exchanged. Items that were bought for other people were exchanged. Uh, Marin had given a set of calibrated weights in return to Ronnie. I uh, thought they'd be very useful for the shrine. And now the party takes a year off with their 90-ish grand of money uh, they man managed from the auction. So the party is gonna take, has taken one year's rest at this time. Um, already so, changed my um, character's age and everything. Yep. yep. Oh yeah, I need to do that. Longest nap ever, yes. <laughs> Right, twenty four, she's old lady. You, I know, right? I mean you gotta say well, are you still considered your mid twenties? Are you considered your <laughs> mid twenties at this point or your early twenties? Yes. Twenty four is mid twenties. Okay, so it's mid twenties. <laughs> yeah, you are old oh, jeez. Alright. So I figured we would go <clears throat> by this through maybe, you know, within one to four months and then second 
wonderful. <sighs> Four, two, six, six, two, nine. Trimester? Nine, two, uh, quarter. Quarterly. Why do you quarter. say that? Quarterly. <laughs> Quarterly. Because I, I am a science person. I did not go to accounting. All right. So during the uh, first three months, uh, some things happen. Uh, first of all, uh, tutors are picked for uh, wonderful Shaddock <laughs> at this time. Um, I believe. Wonderful Shaddock. Yeah, I mean she's a wonderful kid. I mean she is. It's just a you know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, there have Never been mind. a few interviews that were conducted, uh, narrowed down to three cat- uh, three individuals each, uh, chosen uh, by the parents. Um, three magic. Da- it was narrowed down to three magical tutors and three academic tutors. Uh, eventually, the tutors were boiled down to a tiefling uh, by the name of he Kelvin. Boiled them? <laughs> <laughs> they have to be able to survive. That's that's part of their training. Yep, is the boiling. <laughs> so the invoker that was chosen. Funny enough, um, it's a tiefling individual named Kaelthorn, Kael Th- uh, uh, hailing from Dighton. Um, chosen for his uh, teaching uh, technique of trial and error, he does requests uh, from Rain and and Melanie that uh, well, probably the best place. If unless you already have an arcane library, is somewhere that is <clears throat> durable <clears throat> for said mistakes. <laughs> um, Do we have something like that in the keep? I think we just have a regular library, not a fancy mm-hmm. one like that. Okay. Um, not in uh, like <clears throat> it's not enforced and doesn't have libraries and things like that. It's right, right. Know, Wait, um, what did I just say? It doesn't have libraries. You said it doesn't have libraries, but I think I you meant, meant it doesn't laboratories. Have, like, wards. Oh, okay. I meant laboratories. I'm a. I told you. I. You're good. Brain. It's all good. <laughs> we could tell where you were going. And, yeah. Yep. 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 You know, it was it was adjacent. Um, then, um, we'll probably a uh find a place outside of the keep. Um and have like whatever the equivalent of a fire extinguisher is on hand Mm -hmm. and have like a nice spot but like i'm guessing outdoors would be like the easiest to be you know if there's some crazy shit happened it's outside it's not catching a building on fire um if that's He's he's fine with that. Um, since you know this is just the beginning of magic, the the, the, the most destructive thing you could possibly he could talk, you know, like firebolt and things like that. It's not gonna catch that many things on fire. Now, if you right. were if he was teaching somebody who already had some advanced knowledge of magic, like someone with the capability of learning fireball, then he'd probably be a little more worried. Uh, but Probably a place with mostly stone would probably be your best bet, he says. I'm sure there's a field or a ruin or something like that. I mean, yeah, we built this from a Honestly, more or less ruin. Um, we could maybe even do it down by the water. Mm. Because that way, you know, if anything goes wrong, there's water right there. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Hopefully so maybe we find, can find a nice place by the, by the banks. <laughs> yeah, like, let's, Firebolt isn't going to hurt a river. Okay. <laughs> so. um, is there, so he, he asks, uh, Kael Thorne, you know, asks the both of you, is there anything that you want him to teach Shaddock in particular? Like, uh, like, is it mostly you want her to learn control? Do you want, like, what, it's, what kind of regimen am I tailoring? <laughs> Right now, uh, what I would like you to work with is uh, making sure that she doesn't hurt herself or anyone else. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. um because we did see her well we, somebody else saw her doing a little bit of magic and we don't want her, anything to happen accidentally that hurts anyone okay um once everything is safe once we know that she's not going to hurt herself or anyone else by accident uh obviously if somebody's attacking her hurt that person uh at that point um maybe we could uh speak with Shadok and you uh separately to kind of gauge her potential and mm -hmm. see if she needs further training or if just a little bit of control is sufficient if she's just not so gifted that she needs to learn higher arts because i'm not really sure where she is on that that range um or if she really loves it and she shows talent then we'll probably you know change up the regimen and have her start learning whatever she seems to be interested and in or gifted towards Okay, he's kind of like, you know, scratching one of his horns while you're t saying this. So I'll take the first few weeks with her to just evaluate her evalu evaluate her abilities. Um, I might report back to you, you know, what I think her capabilities and what I think her where her interests might lie. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll definitely go for it. I, can definitely can, I definitely can teach her control and uh, probably, you know, not to hurt others because you have a lot of you know valuables in the castle um you have a lot of people oh. that could also be hurt um, that's the main thing is i yeah. don't want any persons to be injured by accident I, I definitely want to make sure that no one's uh damaged just because she's not sure what she's doing and so if she has that knowledge of what she's doing then she's less likely to hurt anyone accidentally like if they're her and her friends are playing or something okay so. excellent i will get on that right away um all right and i would have taken uh, a moment to kind of explain that she's got like a little bit of a weird past so like don't i don't know like i would be like you know she's has a bit of a troubled past so try to be uh understanding if <clears throat> if she seems a little bit uh confused by things or um she might you know, she have a predisposition to water and nature magic perhaps mm. it's hard to say okay yes we the the magic that she was seen doing is controlling water so uh water is probably the best place to start but you know she it didn't have the best uh few years so just of course of course i i will be well i i will i will be um very sensitive to that um okay um uh, that should be about it. Um, <coughs> do you... Um, so, could have potential abilities similar to sorcery, sorcerers. Okay. Alright. Uh, so, he'll get on that. The other tutor you guys picked uh, for her was, for the academic side, was a, a, fur, blo a fur blog named Aura, um, mm -hmm. who hails for Durenethel. Does she uh, know Pumatzel? <laughs> or Bittersweet. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> we are going to start out great, guys. Um, she does not know Bittersweet. And Aww. she does not know who the other person is. Um, but uh, she is, when you spoke to her, uh, when you guys spoke to her, she is extremely patient. Um, especially being someone who <clears throat> self-taught themselves to read and write. Um, she can understand how that process how long that process can be and how much patience one would need and she is you know she's 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 very she's stern but she's you know ex extremely nice um she wants to ask you guys so just do you want her to start out with would you like her to start out with the basics of you know ma mathematics and writing and reading are there any other specialties that you'd like me to teach her uh so history I'm not certain... or science or you so have a I, magic not... person uh, yes we do have somebody working with her on magic to make sure that uh the at least some sort of small magical gift that she has doesn't hurt herself or somebody else um, I'm not certain where she 
uh, how far any schooling that she has has gotten. So you'll probably want to um, maybe get sort of a baseline from her. Mm -hmm. um, after, you know, letters and uh, basic mathematics, um, I guess whatever is standard for a child her age. I'm not really certain uh, what the learning criteria is at what ages. It's been a while, obviously. Okay. <clears throat> Excellent. Um, and would you like weekly uh, pr uh, progress reports as well? Uh, well, e sure. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, and I might, um, because she's still getting used to the idea of writing, um, and she did have sort of bad experience with that, I, I might just kind of, uh, if she seems upset, uh, if she seems uh, skittish, I might maybe be in on the lessons for a couple and then slowly wean myself out of out of the area but that's just if she's skittish if she's not then i'll leave you to everything okay. by yourself of course of course um you are more than welcome to sit in on the lessons um any time you wish all right so... marvelous excellent um all right i will also yeah i will also gauge where she is uh currently um, all right, so you've picked tutors. Um, was there anything you or Rain wanted to do oh. with her in within the first few months? The only thing that I will add to the curriculum that might not be standard is having her learn a little bit of Elvish. Okay, <clears throat> that is not like a ton. That Some. is totally doable, uh, or it says. Okay, she's young now, it's the best time to do it, honestly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just teach her like seventeen languages. <laughs> Great. Um, Zaitari, you wanted to contact somebody, um, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the first thing that Zaitari does is uh, send a message to the Ice Queen mm -hmm. to set up, uh, you know, place and time to meet up so that they can talk over things uh preferably soon okay uh because she can teleport herself reasonably anywhere right now mm -hmm. um she'd obviously prefer a city or somewhere she's been so that there's no teleportation mishaps right 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 um well she is currently in she is currently in vox actually Oh, um, yeah. so she can meet up anytime, um, maybe for dinner, perhaps, um, it's perfectly fine with her. Um, so I assume you do so at some point and you bring up, uh, your idea. Yes. Okay. Um, so, well, uh, Isadora says... So Alexandria doesn't have me working on anything currently, so I, I'd be up for a, tr a tour. To be quite honest, it'd be very refreshing. Um, all this combat training has... its It can be very tiring. Um, and I don't think I've had a good couple of months to myself. Um, and I'd love to be on stage again. Um, and... Yeah, uh, it depends. Do you want to stay on this continent, or do you want to do both continents? Honestly, I don't really mind. Um, okay. Wherever um, you have contacts, that we can get a booking. Okay. Pretty much. Uh, and I have a few months that I want to do a tour, so... Okay. We have the time. Alright, uh, she would then suggest um, the easiest cir the easiest circuit... Uh, where she has contacts in currently is our uh, Ironfast Leona Gadarn, uh, Leona, uh, Ironfast Leona Gadarn, Dighton, and and Skorok. Uh, you we. Since you haven't been to the Elven Lands other than uh, Daidar or the like center of the Elven Lands, 
Um, she's looking to use your teleportation capabilities as well. You guys could, like, hop countries real quick after you're done mm -hmm. with the major cities. Um, mm -hmm. That would probably be the most profitable. And besides the elven lands with, you know, non-elves, it's kind of sketchy, at least. I would say I could make myself look different, but I don't really want to tarnish my brand. <laughs> true, true. Um, but yeah, um, those five countries in that in those few months, and I will let you know um, how much you two make during this tour. Okay. All right. Um, let's see, I'm just looking through the list. Uh, also, at the beginning of the year, I would set up for the wizard to cast those spells at the keep. All right. Because that takes a significant portion of time. Yeah. Teleport. And go, yeah. S since you've paid, then, like... Alexandria can get like a wizard to drop by every um every day to cast those spells. Yeah. Okay. Um the next thing that ha um Ronnie, are you just pretty much straight up learning at this point? Um yeah. Um probably the first month and a half-ish he's focusing on his education mm -hmm. um, and after that point he's going to get a little restless about not doing anything in his mind productive mm -hmm. uh, and then he'll seek out Martin and get back on the ship and start sailing again but he'll spend a solid month at least trying to learn okay um, can you... I have a random question about Ronnie mm -hmm. does Ronnie have any grand turtles? <laughs> no hmm he needs to get on that because if all of us end up having some sort of child, we can have literal adventures in babysitting. <laughs> hmm. I think you expect too much of Zaitari. Hmm. <laughs> all right. How you long? Need to roll something. Uh, yeah. Uh, I need you to roll. Just give me a straight intelligence roll. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Character sheet, please. <laughs> Would it I be just an advantage switched, I just having tab. a tutor? Sure, I'll give him I'll give him advantage. That's very generous. It's not gonna help a whole lot. You don't know that. It could be it's great. It's a negative one either way. Ooh, Six. Baby. <laughs> Low roll. Um, you can so in the month and a half you have, uh <laughs> I'm gonna say you can do uh, pretty basic ad addition and subtraction. Uh, mm -hmm. You definitely learn the alphabet, the, the common Excellent. alphabet. Um, like the really long letters, like upwards of like 10 letters or more are still kind of hard for you, but you've, you've got a good handle on children's books for sure. Perfect. I'm making progress. <laughs> <laughs> but you can like... You like like numbers now. When you see numbers, you know what those like what those individual 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 numbers are. So yeah, I, it makes sense now. I they can, yeah, I know what money is and, and how like, that works. With with your like with a compass, you you, you know like the N stands for north now. Like yeah, I just, the north. before I just knew like that's the way we want to go. <laughs> it's 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 progress. All right. It is progress. Um, what's Tilda doing for the first three months? Um, Tilda's helping Ronnie with his education. Um, I presume if, uh, well, if Rain and Melanie ask for m further help with uh, the tutor, mm -hmm. uh, she will help out there. Um, regularly visiting Theo. Um, in fact, probably staying there at least three, you know, three nights out of seven, if there's a seven day 
you know, week mm-hmm. type of thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, um, we're helping Ronnie, visiting Theo, helping him run the duchy, uh, getting to know her father-in-law. Um, so, yeah, yeah, um, that's all good. Uh, you do spend a lot of time with your father-in-law because. Oh. Hmm? Uh, one more thing, um, and also uh, asking Rain and Demeter for help with the uh, potion as soon as the glowvine um, has come in. Yep, and you know, oh, seeing how long that's gonna take. That they've been. Uh, she's been. Demeter has been experimenting with that, like day in and day out she's making that her like first priority um it's the glow vine is grows pretty rapidly at this point especially with the plant growth Mm -hmm. um the hard part is there's so many plants and other chemical ingredients that have the attributes of the memory bind potion that it's she thinks she can get it probably between you know in the in four to six more mo- in four to six months so three more months um she, it's a matter of fine tuning and because her first set of experiments with the glow vine uh causes her tiny uh tiny subjects to have uh seizures oh no, definitely dear lord oh, don't definitely don't want that to happen um, and as she has been progressing to, you know, month two and three, they have less seizures, um, and they seem to be picking up things, but she wants to eliminate the seizures, at least. <laughs> that would be nice. Is it yes. a reminder? What is the potion that you're trying to make with us? Um, it's supposed to, all it is, is it's supposed to help me get another, uh, first level spell slot. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, we don't want seizures mixed in with that. No. Um, but yeah, so that's the extent of what I do. Okay. Um, you do spend a lot of time with your uh, father-in-law because he is... Now that he is back at a full capacity, he can tell mm-hmm. you the little... Both of you and Theo, the little nuances that running you know, the L'Oreal Art Duchy entails since he pretty much knows it inside and out prior to right. his mind warping. Um, so it's, it's, it's also a lot to take in because yes, Theo has been learning, um, but it's, it was just difficult to take in with everything happening. Um, you find out during this time that he actually has a very, very dry sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Um, he enjoys um very dry wines ironically enough and he um he loves uh he you know now that he has people to listen he actually loves telling little stories and anecdotes um which relates into teaching you guys all the nuances of the duchy like for every little, you know, you know, kook, not kooky, but little eccentric thing about how he's been running things and how he's been organizing things and whatnot. He has a little story to go with it. Um, it's actually kind of nice. Um, mm-hmm. He does around the second month, um, he does ask you how you think... He wants to meet your fa- he wants to meet up with your father. Um but it he doesn't think, you know, it would be better to meet at a neutral place because, you know, he should 
at least get to know the family mm-hmm. and given the history between the both of them. Yeah. It's very difficult for him to figure out how to exactly go about that. And he's looking, since it is your father, he's looking mm-hmm. for any suggestions that you might be able to provide. I've got a plan of what I'm doing for the next set of three months. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Um, also, um, this probably isn't um, something that I'm going to be able to figure out, but for at least the first month or two, Tilda will be scouring um the list of guests mm-hmm. the guest list at our auction okay to see who might have been uh trying to distract us with randomly summoned small creatures you forgot the rat by the way the rat that was in the kitchen ah the rat <laughs> i'll add that to the, to the, to the list yeah, I thought I, was, I thought I summoned three. I was like, well, I did not put rat on my notes. Mm-hmm. Um, I distinctly remember because I thought Shattuck was talking about the sugar glider, and then she was like, "Oh no, I know what the, <laughs> I know what a rat looks like." Okay, rat. Um, okay, uh, I was trying to figure out stuff with some animals. Uh, Rain, was there anything particular you wanted to do during this time? I know you had a couple things, but I don't yeah. know what order you wanted to do this in. Uh, probably, uh, the only thing I'd probably say is I probably, we can discuss this too much, I probably would have dropped off Kismet with our local feral librarian. Okay. <laughs> um, because Rain can do some research, but, you know, she's... It's not her necessarily. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And um, I'm sure you can get a lot of stories out that way. Um, as so, like this, she's gonna do that and and to work on his uh, particular predicament of getting him, you know, separated and passed on, you know. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and that would be also be a great way to you know get some information out of him. I'm sure, uh, you know, on the various items. Mm-hmm. Um. But the other main thing is, uh, after hearing that information at the um, at the party about uh, Gordon Danvers, she'll, uh, you know, work her contacts and get information about that. Okay. Um... And she pro- she'll start planning the next escapade with the uh, the Travers children. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I sent you the stuff about Danvers, and... That's what they have in, like, the first month. Um, and I'm sending you a message. And, and Rain is, of course, you know, spending a lot of time with, um, you know, Shadark and mm-hmm. Melanie. Yes, her new young family. Yes. Yep. <laughs> so much time, you know. Um, so, Shalak at one point, uh, talking about around the third month, she's been, you know, learning at, the progress reports are coming in, she's been learning at a very quick pace, uh, she absorbs pretty much knowledge as a sponge, like a sponge, she's only burnt down the dock once, (laughs) which is, it's, it's a small dock, so... It's progress. We've all burned the dock down once or twice. Come on. <laughs> yeah, she's burned down the dock once, and it wasn't that big of a fire. Um, hey, as long as you guys are paying for it, and it's not coming out <laughs> of the group funds, oh yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm I'm assuming that we'll get like a bill at the end of the the rest time to just know how Kit, much we uh how much was destroyed. I mean, yeah. To be fair, <laughs> this is your keep, Melanie. I thought it was our keep. It's our keep that, you know, in that sense, but, like, you are the knight of this keep. True. 
in that sense, it is your family's keep, you know? Aww. She burned down her own dock. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, I will say that uh, we do work on rebuilding it a little bit together so that she you know learns the lesson of like when we when we even if we break something accidentally we still put some effort into putting it back together type c type okay. deal so like not doing... like you did wrong just like you know you if you accidentally do something you have to you know still work on fixing it okay yeah rain since you're are you helping with dock rebuild restoration yes could you roll me a perception and an insight check, please? Oh boy. Uh, that'd be a third turn on a perception. Okay, I see that. Holy fuck! Of course. And you said insight. Yes, please. Okay, edging. Um, so during these, uh. <laughs> Aww. Um, during these three months, um, she did express, you know, uh, she has been training with Melanie uh, in the role of combat. And Melanie she's knows... Strong as shit. She's very strong. <laughs> uh, she... And Rain, when you relay this information, the, the practice weapons they've been using during only a couple of sessions are nearly broken. And this is only a few sessions then. This uh, heat is strong. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> um, probably I, I kind of a tiny scene with Melanie and Shadok uh, in the training thing. Um, one time when they're training, uh, Rain will ask Melanie, um, let's have a little show for her. Uh, show her what happened, how to, you know, in a fight, how to handle herself. It's just me and you in the middle of the practice yard. She'll watch, okay? Okay. Uh, now, now, I... now, the rules are just, uh, you know, none of that ridiculous thunder step charge thing you do. <laughs> and I can't, you know, just leave, go invisible and leave. I can't go invisible, <laughs> but I can't go invisible and leave, okay? <laughs> so the first thing Rain does, and they, and, you know, countdown, she goes invisible. <laughs> and leave. And go like like to, into like you know whatever stands or whatever in nearby. I can imagine there's like you know like a yeah. She's probably she's probably, she's probably sitting on like a log and she's just like looking at you, looking at you, <laughs> well looking at where like, you were. And I uh, kind of let Melanie flail around for a little. Bit. <laughs> Melanie, Melanie will, she'll look for a moment, and then say, "You're not very good at rules, are you?" And I'll come and uh, de come in invisible next to Shadow. The best way to win any fight is to not be in it. Ooh. That's the first thing you need to know. Okay. Hmm. Rain is very good at avoiding confrontational <laughs> uh, physical <laughs> confrontation. She's just isn't there sometimes you're just like where's rain i thought the fireball was gonna hit her and the fireball just didn't <laughs> uh still not completely sure how that works okay uh so rain that's a salty you, fighter now <laughs> you yeah you both you and melanie know that shock is very strong what you realize rain is she you know because of probably the years months of malnutrition you know she wasn't you know very strong to start out with uh -huh. and then she kind of just went crazy went wild. um at the rate she's going um you don't know if she'll ever hit where melanie is at because yeah. of all the stuff i mean i have a <laughs> lot of uh, aid getting here but she is. I'm just gonna let you know. Already stronger than Rain. Oh, she's definitely stronger than you. <laughs> she's definitely strong. There's no question about that. Um, Rain's gonna try to discipline her one of these days, and she's gonna be like, "No!" and throw you like across the room <laughs> through three walls. If she oh, could goodness. catch her. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, she might be comparable to Melanie. 
probably by her teenage years. She's gonna kind of nudge Melanie in the elbow. It's like, oh, well, she's definitely her mother's daughter. Because <clears throat> when she was helping you like rebuild the docks, especially, you saw her like pick up w pieces of wood that she should not be able to. When she does that, Melody just looks weirdly proud. <laughs> like, aww. <laughs> Not terrifying at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so, Mallory, you go on a spectacular whirlwind of a tour. Oh, wow. I had no idea I was so talented. You are very <laughs> no no it, it you are like I'm not even do you know how high your fucking per performance checks are at this point there's there's you said Mallory not Zaitari oh Zaitari <laughs> god damn it Zaitari Zaitari my bad um, I was looking at your name and I just blanked for a bit it's I mean, okay you could still have some terrible failures of just equipment and then and the like. I could, Maybe. but I have expertise in performance, and oh, thus oh, good Lord. my passive performance is a 25. So. <laughs> Just you chilling, uh, sitting on the couch is amazing, is what you're saying. Well, I mean, it's not when I'm chilling on the couch, it's when I'm playing my music and stuff. Mm. But you go on a world of a tour, um, it is, like... Every, by the time um, it catches wind, like, you know, the Ice Queen does draw in numbers, but mm -hmm. by the time your maybe first three performances go by, then every venue you start, you know, you are advertised with, the both of you just sells out within that week. Yes. And it has gotten to the point where near the end of the tour, the biggest venues still sell out in a week. Um, there are, you have many glowing uh, critical reviews uh, from various uh, nobility, music critics. Um, just like y you've gotten to the, uh, to the, like, you know, to, to the consistent, um, you know, you're, you're nominated for. Later on, you learn you're nominated for a uh, performance art reward. Oh my uh, it god! Won't, it won't take place until <laughs> uh, until uh, six months later. Like okay. they still have to compile. But you're you're definitely you definitely know you and the Ice Queen are in for the nominations um, at that point. Um, but yeah, it's it's getting it's getting a little a little much by the end of. Uh, by the end of um, three months. And at this point, you have, uh, you know, after paying your, you know, your stage crew, um, the venue, the, what, uh, uh, you know, roadies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you easily make about... Four thousand six hundred and fifty-two gold pieces. Oh boy! Yeah. Four thousand six hundred fifty-two. Is that what you said? Yep. Okay. Um. And if you wish to take some very special bookings, i.e., um performing for the Prime Minister of uh, Gadarn, the Patriarch in Iron Fa of Ironfast. The Queen kind of knows you, so there's probably going to be a performance for her birthday, um, which, you know, her people let your people know this mm -hmm. at this point. And probably for the situated in Dighton, you might be a little booked up for the rest of the, the, the year, for the special performances, if you so, cho so choose to take them. Uh, so long as I could fit it into the other stuff that Zaitari wants to do, she'd absolutely do them. Okay. So, bookings for higher-ups. 
and that uh, performance art ceremony will prob is probably going to with you know nothing happening within the year anything catastrophic because they had to you know move the cere uh, the performance art ceremony for you know certain wars and uh, catastrophic things that happened throughout history um it will yep. probably mm -hmm. be around um probably be about month 10 of this of this break so you, okay. you, you've you've got some time. Of course, you can bring a plus one if you wish, um, and yeah, they they give you the lowdown. Like there's like a goodie bag, a very elaborate goodie bag, kind of like with the um, was it the uh, is it the Emmys? I think they all. I think everybody. They does. all do them. They, they, all yeah. the awards do them. Yeah. Mm. Where they give the goodie the... bags out to the uh, um, uh, presenters right. mostly. Um, where is the ceremony going to be? What city or continent? Uh, That's this, a good yeah, this year, uh, the ceremony is going to take place in Gendaiten. Um, uh, so, uh, religion capital of the world. Okay. Well, uh, knowing that Zaitari and the Ice Queen are nominated, uh, she would absolutely brag to everybody. I imagine there's at some point, uh, you know where we would all be together at the keep just to, you know, do check-ins or whatever. What do you mean? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, she no. would definitely make sure that we don't want to hear <laughs> invited. Okay, of course, of course. Um, all right. Uh, anybody else looking to do anything uh, between month one and three? Okay. Uh, I think the only other things that I had were just the improvements to the armor and the uh, jewelry stuff, but you yeah, know, I feel like that would. Um, at this point, your water walking. It was water walking. Yeah, your water walking items are made. Yeah. So okay. those are given out. Uh, and this is, in uh, are the armor and well, yeah, it was just the armor. Is the armor done as well? The armor is done as well. Okay. Great. And I will make those updates in my character sheet. All right. Um, speaking of armor, uh, Rain, did you want to check? Yeah, on I forgot the... about the. I was just the fucking Garisto hide. I've forgotten so many things. Um... <laughs> I was about. To, yeah, I was about to say. When is she gonna tell me about the Garisto hide? Yeah. Um, I guess I. I would have like you know because I we were having it looked into, and like find out what can be done with it okay I mean, let like... me like so since you dropped it off with the tanner the tanner will tell you what can be done with it so let me get to that section of the notes um where is it there we go i have lightning resistance now guys <laughs> cool Test it out, Tilda. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. My AC is now officially uh, 20. All right. So the... I don't want it at 190%, please. I need it to be... Uh, Garisto, Garisto... Hide. All right. So, not only can your Garisto High be made into a very comfy, expensive blanket, uh, the Tanner says, uh, <laughs> but uh, in the right hands, and, you know, right. he offers his hands, if you would like, mm -hmm. um, you can turn the hide armor, it would require attunement, to uh, grant resistance from cold, fire, and lightning damage. And what would it be like? Would that be like studded leather base or? At hide. This would be hide. But hide if, um, if um, I mean, if if you. I brought there actually is hide armor. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's hide. So um, he can make it. A, he can make it studded. If you have any other materials like metallic wise, like um, 
you, you know, if you happen to have like any mithril or adamantium, he could probably like give okay. it like a couple pluses. What about primordabilium? Yeah, I was gonna say clusium. Yeah, thank that, you. <laughs> wow. I, that's I, I, yeah, that's what I use to get my improvements done. To my yeah, armor. I had big chunks of preclusium ore, and I just have chunks, and I know I use some of that um, for the dagger improvements. I don't really know if I had much, because I said I took a chunk, so I imagine there was like two or three, at yeah. least fistful-sized chunks, you know. If you, okay, well, I'll be generous and say you probably have three, you had three, um, so given the improvements, Hellfire, I gave it fire damage, did I give it a plus one uh, in addition to that, or was it just a fire damage, or the resistance? I uh, forgot what it, I gave it. Uh, plus one saves. Plus one saves. Okay, so just a plus one saves and fire damage? I don't remember. This was well, a long time ago, KK. It was plus one saves and fire damage. Alright, I'm just going... That. All right, I'm going to say, um, if since it's just, um, you have one chunk left. Um, this could, we could, it could, in the right hand, because this guy has never seen Procrelusium before, but if you converse with Alexandria, you could bump this armor to a plus one. Um, or you can do something else to it. Um, I mean, you, you, we, we, I mean, we can, we can give it necrotic resistance if you want. Um, <laughs> um, but could she theoretically throw a ton of money at it and get whatever she wants. She could, she could <laughs> throw a ton of money at it and upgrade it to say a plus two. Um, let me see yeah. what would that be. Uh, just a moment. So, if you wanted it to be a plus two, where is my yeah. thing? Du -du -du -du. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, all right. Um, so... So if you wanted to make it a plus two, probably cost you about three thousand. If you oh, wanted yeah. a plus three, hmm. if you want a plus three, it's going to cost you twelve. Plus two is good. That would keep me where I am, you know, and uh, pretty much. Okay. Is that I'm with closer. the uh, chunk of preclusium? With the chunk of preclusium, um... the only reason I mention this is because for mine. Um, okay. to get it from a plus two to a plus three, yeah. um, it was two chunks of plague preclusium, and then my lightning oh, yeah. resistance was yeah. one of those. So, I just want to give you your options here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you could essentially bring, pay 3,000 for the plus two, give the armor to Alexandria. However, since you're having the armor move between two hands... Um, like I told, um, Mallory, normally that would take, this process would take three months. This would take six for you because you are giving it to somebody, either Alexandria or somebody to do it the plus two with the money first. And then the preclusium would add on. So you wouldn't have this set of armor until six months later, if you're okay with that. Yeah, Rain would be okay with that. Okay. Uh, six months. Awesome. So with the 3,000 plus the two chunks of preclusion, yeah. that would give uh, armor, cold, fire, and lightning, and plus three. two or three. Plus three. three. We're at plus okay. three, yeah. Good lord. That's about everything that uh, Zaitari's resistant to, <laughs> except for cold. <laughs> Yeah, that would uh, yeah, that would be good. So minus three, get rid of the. And I will do that. Ronnie, how long are you staying on the ship for? Since uh, the group had decided a year, Ronnie's gonna finish out his year on the ship. He doesn't like being stuck on land that long without a specific job to do, so he's going back where he's comfortable. Okay. Um, all right. 
Uh, four. So just... I hmm? I didn't really think about um armor stuff. So I will say that um Melanie might have some questions about armor after uh, after Ronnie. But I'm not going to cut you off. I just wanted to mention that I might have something later. Okay. But you're just on the boat, right? Yeah, I'm just on the boat. All right. Um, during... So since we're going into four to six months, I'll start out with you, Ronnie. Um... So, during your, during like two months and on, you know, you've been, you know, on the boat. You're very perceptive, as we all know. Um, you've noticed that Captain Templast hasn't been, he's, he's, he's starting to, you know, wake up later which is pretty unheard of for you like unheard of you know he was he's being a captain he's a very very early riser mm -hmm. um you've noticed like small things like it does take him a little more effort to you know turn the wheel of the ship sometimes um and by month three or four he is starting to get kind of forgetful hmm mm. Um, well, head armor is medium armor. Sorry, um, I might not do that, but I'll, you know. Um, by month, like, three and a half-ish, um, I'll have a conversation with Marnin about, um, finding port somewhere so that we can, you know, get her dad settled, because it looks like it's right, it's time for him to retire. Cool. Um, and once I've had that conversation with her, then I'll have that conversation with the captain. All right. Um, and then are you going to explain all the changes you've been noticing? Yes. Okay. Um, so Marin tells you that she's noticed the same things as well. Um, you know, be on the, the ship with dad for so long. Um, she, she thinks that town you guys uh, stopped at on the way to on the way to um the wilds would probably be a really good place for him to settle for a bit to settle mm -hmm. um, you know it was quiet a small town still by the ocean um the weather seems pretty mild so it doesn't like it it's probably it's it's florida <laughs> it's yeah. by all accounts florida <laughs> basically um, um, yeah, I think that's a great Disneyland. place, a great <laughs> place for him to settle down. Um, and I will volunteer to break the news too. Okay. Um, I mean, to the Mar captain. Marin is more than willing to talk to him, but maybe, yeah, he, she does agree. It might be better coming from you. Since... Yeah. Also that way I can save her that that pain of having to have that particular conversation with her dad. Okay, and yeah. Alright. So you and Captain Temple he, you bring him aside one night. You, you two have dinner. And you know, it's not uncommon for you to have dinner. Sometimes Marin is on shift and it's only you two. Sometimes it's another with another crew member, crew member or two. Um, but you do, like today, um, tonight you do get him, you know, you guys uh, are having dinner together. And you know, you're going... You're going um, over stories of the past and like events that that have happened and good times. Um, but but it's you know the first time during dinner he does have like a lapse in memory of uh like of a time where um. You guys almost hit a pot of dolphins, um, and then into a. It, it doesn't matter. He does have a lapse in memory, mm -hmm. and um, so he doesn't. 
realize. Okay. So, Ronnie, when do you uh, plan on um, going back to your friends? Like, when the year ends, right? Yeah. Yeah, a uh, year out. That was our plan, and I'll be heading back right around then. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, I'm not. I'm not the best talker, you know that, Captain. But um, what what plans do you got for the long run? The long, oh, I see. You've, of course, you've noticed. Yeah, I've noticed. It has been very hard getting out of bed in the morning these days. Did... Has Mara noticed? Yeah. Yeah, she's noticed. <sighs> we we talked about it already. I, I, was, I didn't want to bring it up to you with it before I talked to her about it, since she's going to be, yeah. you know, taking over. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well... Probably, I'd still like to, you know, see the ocean. That's all right. <sighs> yeah, of course. Um, it's, I mean, it's always going to be a part of you as sailors. We can't go that far away from the ocean ever. Yeah. Do you we have? Were... Do you have a suggestion? Yeah, you know that when you took me and my friends over to the that island, and we stopped that little town along the way. Yeah, I remember. Um, you brought the the willow on the shore for a bit. And we were thinking maybe you'd like it there. I'll help you get a place set up and all that. That way Martin can come visit you real easy because you'll be right there on a port. <laughs> it was either that or the Broken Isles, but, you know, see, hearing what's been happening with the Broken Isles lately, I don't think that's the best idea. Yeah, we steer clear of there. Yeah. I... I mean, it's a good idea. I just... Just what? You had a long, good career. I I've have, but you know, I'm I'm afraid of. I don't know if you have this worry, but I'm afraid of just. You know how some old old folk just like once they get settled in a place, they kind of just waste away. Yeah. Yeah. They just kind of lose like they they stop they stop going once they realize there's nowhere else to go and then they just go and well, that's why you're gonna keep yourself busy you're gonna pick up some kind of hobby like basket weaving or tanning or something like that you're gonna learn a new trade you can do not on the ocean i guess i can make nets <laughs> yeah you can make nets you have good money doing that too come a fisherman I guess so. Or Just because can... you're retiring from being captain doesn't mean you got to retire all the way. <sighs> Sorry, I got distracted by, like, the hangman. <laughs> Jesus. It's a very large bar. I'm Sorry. <laughs> Was you, I find why are you sorry? I understand the feeling. I found a stag beetle in my room once, and the cat I was Ugh. living the cat I was oh. living with wouldn't do anything. I held <laughs> his name was Chester. I held Chester up to it, and he just looked at it. Whenever we hold Luke up to a bug, we call it Lion Kinging, because he just goes <laughs> real limp, like when they were holding up Simba. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Chester was. Leo useless. will take down the bug. Luke. Mm -mm. Yeah, Orpheus is. Well, we have we catch flies by holding Orpheus up. It's also a good workout for us because he's twenty five pounds. 
Yeah, good lord. I was gonna say, that's the big boy, isn't it? It's the like, big boy. When he claps, you feel like a thunder wave. Like, it's in your chest. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. I got distracted, but, because my, my boy's yeah, doing really something right now. Hold on. I gotta post it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. I just cleaned oh, that my my crafting area, so he's found he's got he's got a new sleepy time area. I you gotta make a crafting area. Bed. I get my tattoo gun on Monday, so I need to make my little sanitary corner. Ah, nice. Cool. Okay. Um. Where? Okay. Did you? I mean, your hobby was probably just adventuring with your new friend with your new friends. I mean, well, that wasn't a hobby. That was that was still a job. Uh, my hobby is usually just kind of like quiet time, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> meditating, you know, trying. To, it helps being a man of faith. It really does. Um, I, I get a certain level of peace that most other people don't, and I am grateful for that. I have things to do all the time because you know balance needs to be upheld all the time. Um, my hobby now is learning my letters and my numbers which i've i've noticed you've you're it's very you know very impressive of how far you've you've come yeah i can count who would have guessed on that <laughs> i wouldn't know well you gotta promise me you can, you'll come visit me sometime too oh no you know i don't make no promises like that <laughs> I, I never know what's going to be happening or where I'm going to be. Uh, this new group I'm with, they have a pension for extra plane or travel. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so who knows where I'll be. Oh, dear. Yeah, you know, it keeps it, ex keeps it exciting, keeps it interesting. <laughs> the sea is enough for me. I can't, I, I can't even think about going to other planes and sailing on, on their oceans if they have oceans. Is, I, is, I, is the I, physics the same? Well, the one one place we went to was the Feywild, and there was a real big cow. Um, and we walked around on a real big cow, like like it like it was a ship. Um, that was new. Don't know how I feel about it still, but that, we got where we needed to be. That's a lot of beef. Oh, a lot of beef, and one of them could talk to it. I don't. I wasn't fully. I, I was there to help, but I wasn't keeping up. Beyond my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. That's that that rack of ribs. Jeez. Um, <laughs> what is what is terrifying is thinking of how big their predators must be. Yeah. Somebody has to keep that population down now, especially now that they're sentient. Oh well, God! There's only two of them that are sentient. But... Yeah, but I'm sure that they're uh, making some more of themselves. Yeah. <laughs> and didn't but, uh... we figure out that that does breed true? Yep. Talking yeah, that's about... where it does. Oh no, have we made a horrible mistake? <laughs> Talk about the earth moving. <laughs> but um, I would imagine that rocks are their predators. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe. Oh, even a rock. It'd have to be a big fucking rock. I'm just imagining like a stone, a boulder. Like I know you're talking about the bird, <laughs> yeah. but a real yeah. big fucking rock. I mean, it is I the mean, Feywild. Could, it might be work. a rock. Yeah. Carnivorous <laughs> stone being that uh, apparently eats giant cows. So in the in the new Pokemon games, there is a Stonehenge Pokemon. Mm -hmm. It's just that. <laughs> Giant ass Stonehenge comes to life because there's some fucking ruin that has. Anyways, um, well, I, I guess I'll talk to the crew this week. Talk to Marnin too. She's real nervous about having to be captain. You know she shouldn't be. The whole the crew respects her. She's got that's what I've again. been saying, but you know she don't always listen to me. I know. I mean, she puts out a good friend, but she does have some insecurity issues. That girl. All right. Well, let's finish up and 
I'll get to, I'll talk to Marin. We can probably set up maybe maybe in the or on the other side of the ocean. So maybe in two weeks or so. Yeah, you get me the stuff. I'll do a couple blessings around the place too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of and... course, you're you're like family to me. You know, you practically raised me. <laughs> Can't forget that. Uh, I don't hear anything through your mic. Good. Okay. Uh, there's fireworks going off. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, I don't hear a thing. Um, all right. He, um, after dinner, he gives you a big hug. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for being there. Yeah. Oh. Well. I can't say I'm always going to be there, because, you know, who can promise that, but... Yeah. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> Back to work. Back to work. Maybe, um, ease the crew into it. Mm. Let let Martin take over some more of the duties, because, you know, I, you're a good captain, but this is affecting how you're able to run things. We don't want to put them at risk. Yeah. All right. Um, so, Tilda, four to six months. How's that planning going? Okay. So first of all, um, Tilda would go to um, Melanie and Rain because they're the ones who are living there full time right now, and ask if it was okay to host a small um, party small gathering of uh, her in-laws and her family so that, you know, we can have, like, a nice family get-together around. Like, it is still in Loyalar, yeah. but it's close to the border of uh, that uh, Loyalar and Galantra share, so yeah. Uh, so that's what Tilda would do, would be to find you guys and ask that first. Okay. Uh, no problem here. Uh, I might actually be uh, gone for a little while. I probably could have right in the middle of it. Um, but we'll talk about that later, Melanie. Um... And you, uh, you hear some fucking recorder in the background. <laughs> 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 Uh, she how, has. She how has. How quiet do you want the <laughs> party to be? Just out of curiosity. Well, of course, you and um, you Shaddock and Rain would all be in invited. This is your uh, home for the most part. After all, you know. Um, I just think it would be better to gather here in the castle, in the keep itself, rather than in, say, the uh, tavern, or... Yes, absolutely. I, I agree completely. And also, I think this is a, a good area. It's technically loyal our land, but it's not uh, uh, it's terribly deep in it, and uh, the... And it's know... right on the border. Yes. yes. Myself, I'm not a direct loyal or, you know, anything like that, so... Um, I think that it's probably a a good fit for you. You were knighted by a loyalar, but only because a Galantra said, you know, had had an idea of making you a knight. Yes, sort of. Well, and and it's something that uh, I meant to say. Like I'm not uh, long with the loyalars. Mm. Newish. And you do um, descend from. Galantara stock. <laughs> yes. Exactly. You uh, guys hear a perfect rendition of Baby Shark in the background. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> you just no, had to say those words. You just had to say fucking I, Baby Shark. I, You're I, the one who gave her the recorder. <laughs> I rolled a natural 20. I looked up recorder songs before that. First one that came up was a Baby Shark recorder tutorial. <laughs> Uh, you know, she's 
And she's, you know, a triton. I... I... Oh, it's it's a catchy shark. tune. It, it's quite it's a catchy impressive. Tune. I have heard it a lot. Um, this is not the first or even 17th time I've heard it. But honestly, she does it quite well now. It's never heard that song before. Is it original? Uh, no. It's very uh, popular at the joust. There uh, are hand motions, and I will, I will <laughs> show her the the hand motions that go with the baby shark song. I would like to imagine that I am currently wearing all of my armor, Problem. and it is a loud clang, 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 <laughs> along with the perfect recorder of baby shark. Well, um. Anyway, with uh, the thank reason you I was for... asking was uh, he, absolutely. I think that it'd be wonderful for you to have it here. I do think that unless you want us to be around, it might be uh, more of an intimate occasion if it were just your families. But would you rather have a buffer? You could do a staycation down the tavern and you know come up for <laughs> dinner or whatnot decide you if are, you aren't sure you are all of course welcome um i am the one who is sort of commandeering uh the space it's it's your not, space it, it's it's fine i i just think that it might be i don't know i know that sometimes awkward conversations however, are easier yes, with it, a buffer however if you're um I, I I believe my in-laws, or my in-law, my father-in-law, and my parents would get along better without um, non-family members in in attendance. They're meant um, for an audience. Precisely, yes. Um... I think there are words that need to be said that would be better left unheard by um, outside ears, if you know what I mean. I, not to, um, I, I don't wish to make you feel unwelcome in your own home. Of course, Ooh. you are welcome to attend. And maybe what we can do is uh, pop by and, and say hello in the very beginning and then excuse ourselves for a bit of an evening, like you said, in the tavern. Maybe uh, see if we can schedule a performance that night. That sounds like an ideal sort of situation. Perfect. Um, and then uh, Tilda would like to spend some time uh We'll, of course, spend time, you know, sending out invitations uh, and figuring out meals, like what's best to serve, you know, what is, what are, um, I'd probably go with, um, my father's favorite appetizer, um, No. My father's favorite meal. My mother's favorite appetizer. My father's favorite meal and uh, Loyalar's favorite dessert. Okay. Um, when would you like to have this? Um, within the months. It, within these months is fine. Or if we want to uh, make it, you know, if I can't remember who's gone yet or not. So um, if we want to make it next in the next couple of months. Okay. That's fine too. All right. Um, you, you tell me. Okay. Uh, maybe at the end of the sixth month. Okay. All right. So that gives you about two, uh, about three months actually the plan. If well, for, right. Yeah. You got a couple months. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Zaitari four to six months. Yeah, let me take a look at my list real quick. Yep. Um, I have it open, too, so I'm just... Um, by the way, 
uh, while that's happening, I would like to um, also be transcribing some uh, spell scrolls into my book. Okay. Uh, because that's the lowest level. Um, fifth level. So I would need to do is it five <clears throat> days or five weeks? I can't remember. Um, and I don't have my uh, book, the player's handbook, open. I'm sorry. What was the question? I'm sorry. How long does it take to transcribe? spells into uh, my spell um, book. 50 gold pieces per spell level, and I believe two hours yep. per spell level. Two hours per spell level. Two hours per, per spell level. Unless it's okay. divination, and then it's half for both. Right. Um, In your case, because you're a divination yeah, wizard. Yeah, exactly, because I'm a divination wizard. I knew that part. Um... I don't think planar binding is a divination spell, but let's look. Abjuration. Nope. So 50, 250, right? Yep. Um, and then it's going to take over a day, but that's fine. With uh, the amount of time that we have right now. Yeah, I think you're probably good. All right. I'm thinking so... that uh, your main limit is going to be running out of uh, ink and running the entire town out of ink. <laughs> That's a quick trip to Valido. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I was going to say, she got contacts in all the wizard places, so mm -hmm. I think she could probably good. Um, all right, so the first thing uh, that Zaytara would do now that uh, this tour, this whirlwind tour is over, um, she would uh, go to Vox and get her tattoo back piece done. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, while she's there... Um, she's going to convince Tegan to go on two trips with her, okay. uh, back to back. Uh, the first one, after buying the, uh, set of sending stones, uh, will be to visit her mom in the caravan. Okay. Uh, just for about a week. So, well, probably less than a week, probably like just a couple days. Uh, just so that they can meet and talk, because I believe that the last time they met, uh... It was a very stressful time for Zaytari, mm -hmm. so she probably wasn't the best, uh, you know, mediation on the two of them talking. Mm -hmm. So uh, she wants to do that, and she wants to convince Tegan to go on vacation. Uh, and apparently the best place for that is Southern River for all of the requirements that Zaytari had. <laughs> so. Okay, awesome. Um, he will agree with that uh, while you are getting your back piece done. Um, he is going to be putting um, Axe and um, Serena in charge. Um, they, you know, they are more than happy to cover for him, uh, take over his duties between the two of them when he's, he's off. Um, you get the impression from the, the two uh, that yeah, Tegan has been busting his ass. <laughs> and he is literally by like by the time you guys are ready to leave, shoved out the door. <laughs> be, be like, no, you need to go rest before your like the hair the, the black hair you have remaining turns white. Go. Yeah. So, he is literally almost literally pushed out the door with his belongings. Um so uh, it's pretty easy to find with, with with the spells at your disposal. It's pretty easy to find the caravan. Uh, during the few days there, 
Um, so it's it's actually a lovely few days. Uh, Tegan has made a lot of improvements <laughs> to okay. many items <laughs> that the caravan <laughs> has. Okay. Um, so many improvements. It is kind of mind-boggling. Um, uh, he is... Actually, let's see how he is with... There's some tension between you, uh, him, and his... Uh, y your mom and him. Okay. At first. <laughs> okay. Um, he... You know, now that there is, you know, not such, like, a, the urgency and the stressfulness that you were experiencing before. Yes, um, the first time seeing my mother in years. Yeah. You know. It, it's, um... It's now only been months. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's... She's trying really hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's... And, you know, it's, it's a little difficult because even, um... You know, you find his... Uh, mechanical machinations, you know, endearing and mm -hmm. such. Your mom is bored. <laughs> oh. She's trying her best to, like, mm -hmm. keep up and understand, but maybe there needs to be a shift in, like, subject in conversation. Um, you know, Tegan is not, you know, picking up, picking up what she's putting down. It's, mm -hmm. it's not great. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I could read into that situation, oh, you, I you read. <laughs> do have expertise and insight. Um, it's not. It's not. That I difficult. would try to like butt in and correct that conversation. So. Okay. Just kind of lead it elsewhere, as I see that my mother is not, uh, you know, a fan. I don't know. Yeah, entertained. <laughs> Okay, um, so you eventually just lead the conversation uh, towards other subjects. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It, you know, I'm not going to make you roll because you are ridiculous. Um, <laughs> and probably can, like, lead Great. the conversations uh, half-assed drunk and asleep at this point with, like, disadvantage to your role. Um, and the conversation starts going a little more uh, smoothly. Um, with the addition of more alcohol, of course. Of course. Um, Which I can provide. I do have my jug of alchemy with me, as yeah. per usual. Um, so, eventually, as, you know, the next few days go on, uh, your mother catches you alone. He's doing mm -hmm. another improvement to some of these instruments. Uh, apparently, there was, like, a big crack in uh, somebody's wind instrument, and he knows exactly what to do to fix it. So see, he's mm -hmm. he's helping them. So your your mother catches you know catches you alone, and um, and she says to you, "So, um, you seem you know you seem to be doing very well with him." Thank you. <laughs> um. Any any plans in the future? I don't know. It's still uh still early, I suppose. These things are supposed to take time, right? Sometimes I don't they really do. know. This is my first serious relationship, <laughs> so Well it's fine to think with your heart. I mean, we all know I did. But, you know, you gotta have a little bit of that head in there, too. What I eventually learned. <laughs> well, we'll be spending some time together uh, on a very much needed vacation. He needs a break. He so, needs a break. I'm sure we'll be having the uh, serious. <laughs> chats probably <laughs> while we're there so how many grandchildren should i expect from you <laughs> you can you, have you... grand cats <laughs> she, and... she, she 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 has that like sarcastic look she's yes, not little, little nieces and nephews uh i'm sure from what my companions are going to be getting up to 
<laughs> so. <laughs> you know I'm joking. <laughs> Unless, you know, that's the way you want to go. But it's whatever you want to do. Okay. I mean, you know. I'm not a spring chicken like you were when you had me. But, <laughs> I mean, there's always still time. There is. I'm thinking about taking the caravan to the other continent. Um, you know, we've pretty much run the course of Robur, and I'm getting a little sick of sand. It gets everywhere. It does. <laughs> it is annoying. It's very annoying. So it's rough. <laughs> course rough. Gets everywhere, as the saying goes. Yes. Mm. So we'll probably be headed. To your neck of the woods at some point. Maybe in the next few months or so. Okay. Well, I can't guarantee that I'll be at the keep. But, uh, do stop by, at least. I will. And, you know, I know you can reach me. Yeah, so. you can reach me now as well. But he does make you happy, right? Yes. He Good. does. Good. Very good. You see, like, Tegan's done working on... Well, he's making improvements to the wind instrument at this point. He's fixed the crack. Um, you know, he turns and sees you... <laughs> You guys talking. He smiles and waves. Your mom waves back. And for the br a brief moment, your mom lets out a shark tooth like smile <laughs> towards him. And just, immediately just... and immediately Tegan goes back to working on the instrument. <laughs> I just give my mother a look. What was that for? Uh, I'm just teasing the young man. Don't worry. Mm. You know, he is older than me. <laughs> eh. So was your father. <laughs> well, yes, he was an elf. Of course he was older. Ah... Uh... Eh, mosquito bites. Sorry. I don't know. They 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 are more experienced, aren't they? I don't know. Have you ever slept with a dragon before? <laughs> <laughs> this is the weirdest pissing contest <laughs> you've ever. What the? Your mom at this point just raises an eyebrow. Well, you've definitely won up to me. Um, and then you guys go back to, like, casual chit-chat. And, you know, you guys talk, and eventually, you know, you guys leave the caravan to go on your next vacation to lovely southern Robur mm -hmm. on the beachside. How long are you staying there for? A month. Okay, one month. Um... It's 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 um it's uh, safe to say that after burning like a lobster the first week, uh, Egan has learned to not to absolutely forget to put on sunscreen. So there's <laughs> that. Did that. My mom did that this past Ooh. weekend. Ooh. Oh no! And she came home. I mean, she's basically been. <sighs> I think it was just shy of a third degree burn, honestly. Ugh. That's <laughs> oh, terrible. That's awful. Like, it's dark red. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, why? Why would... You went to the beach, you took a mask, luckily, you know, but you... <laughs> like, I didn't like the idea she was going to the beach in the first place. And then she came home, just dark red. Like, oh... 
Okay. You can't you can't get the Rona if you burn it off yourself. Right? <laughs> Just No, that's not how it works. No, it's not how it works. I don't think. Uh, uh they yeah. say that vitamin D helps uh combat it. So being in the sun in general is supposedly a positive thing, but I don't think that means you're supposed to, you know, lose large amounts of skin. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she's been peeling for the past couple days. Um Yeah, I would it's imagine. It's gross. That's yeah. <laughs> I've had I've had a sunburn that bad. Not all over my body, but like in a specific spot before. It was awful. The only part of her that didn't get burnt was um well, first of all, her face because she has um a face moisturizer that has, you know, SPF 25 or something like that um and basically her back half so you know on that you know on friends when ross goes to the um uh the tan the tanning parlors and just keeps getting hit in the front i haven't watched uh, friends in too long i'm sorry i will I don't, take the resounding silence as a no give me a second Uh... Oh boy. <laughs> That's about what my mother looks like. Oh. <laughs> Except it's a little more red. Sorry. Continue with Tegan getting his sunbur sunburn. Yep. <laughs> Does Zaitari <laughs> burn? Probably not. No, she's already red. Yeah. So even if I she mean, did, I would imagine after a long enough exposure, uh, she would, you know, much like anybody with uh, skin. Yeah, pigment. it would take you much, much longer than Gentigan. But, but you have fire resistance. <laughs> I do, but the sun is a deadly laser. Yeah, that's so. true. That's true. You don't, don't have laser resistance. I don't think. Yeah, right. ultraviolet. I don't. I, it doesn't really fall under fire damage. We can, we can we can we can yeah but you know he heals up pretty he heals up fairly quick mm -hmm. ish with the proper treatments lots of aloe that mm -hmm, kind of thing mm -hmm. um it is a very very relaxing month uh it is very uneventful uh at one point Tegan almost makes... He's on the brink of making a Gatling gun. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, uh, 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 but it jams too many times, so he still has to... He, he has to work out the kinks. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, like, pretty much, like, one of the best vacations you've ever had. The food's good. The... He gets a lot of work done. You get, you write, you play a lot of music. Um, I think you might have a couple new hits for whenever you go on tour next. Nice. Maybe maybe we can win that Artist of the Year award. Nice. Um, it, it's 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 good. It's real good. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, anything you wanted to particularly do on this vacation? I mean, you wrote out what you wanted to do. You you do all of that. Yeah. Uh, so basically just that. And I'm sure, like, during the evenings as we're talking by fire or whatever, we'd have the more serious conversations that we haven't had. Like, I mean, we sort of had, like, the marriage discussion, but, like, now Zaitari isn't thinking about breaking up with him yep. she just wants to know <laughs> so uh probably like the kids conversation that kind of thing okay um i mean it's a pretty easy conversation to have once you guys both agree you know you guys need more communication <laughs> yes um which you know definitely helps your relationship uh more communication helps any relationship 
Um, you know, as for like, you know, going through like the important stuff, kids are, he's okay with or without them. It's up to you, really. Um, definitely can do all that, bro. Um, mm. And as with marriage, he likes the idea. Okay. But he, you know, he's 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 he. You get the general sense with between what your lives have been like, he's very flexible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, you kind of have Which to... Which you already knew. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I sort of already knew, but, you know. It was so far was also... <laughs> 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 Yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah, your, your vacation is pretty uneventful. Okay. Yeah. Great. Wonderful. Does... That is exactly what I wanted it to be. The only thing that happens near the end of it is he gets a pretty bad jellyfish thing. Oh no. Be on him. Be on him. <laughs> that ac that's actually a myth. I know. I know. But I'm just, just imagining it would be real awkward. Um, <laughs> no. Don't. At, at some point during do your it, vacation, do, it, do, do you go now. into like some random just regular tavern and just blow everyone's mind? Just like do a performance for just randos. Yeah, they probably would probably do that on their last night because, I mean, it's like a you know, whatever town is nearby, Rooftop. you know, they go to spend time there, eat, whatever. Uh, so she doesn't want to quote unquote blow her cover mm -hmm. while she's there, but the last night she will. Okay. So. Yep. If this, if this, like world had their version of TMZ then they'd be all over this already. <laughs> but they don't. <laughs> yeah. Um and all the better for it. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Uh guys, I have this idea for a new business now. <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> Gonna need scry guys and <laughs> KK, what are you doing? I am preparing to make a little trip. I would probably let Melanie know what I'm doing. Probably. For okay. A weeks. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Rain will come to Melanie and say, um, there's been something that's bugging me, and I want to finally take care of it. Um, when we killed Lord Travers, uh, I kind of let it go. He ruined my life, ruined my father's life, ruined my brother's life. And really, other than him dying, there's no fallout from that. Okay. <clears throat> I want to go see about his children, see what kind of people going they are. You're not going to kill them too, are you? <laughs> no. And uh, no, okay. I'm not going to kill them. Okay. Uh, All right. I I would have to request that you didn't do that. So I was just double checking. <laughs> uh, I would um. Uh, if I wanted to do that, I I would not tell you, and I don't not want to tell you things. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I just if uh, depending on how they are, if they're you know little shits like he was a gigantic shit so to speak mm -hmm. um right then i i would gladly use the courts to get my brother and my father everything they deserve i've got okay, everything okay. i need here and if not just um you know work out something equitable fine that i think that's understandable uh do you want help or is this more of a Stealth thing that you really don't want me helping with. I, I, I think won't be offended. It would be easier if I could just do this on my own. It would just be easier and quieter. Okay. Well, if anything goes. And also, if you know, if I end up, uh, you know, if they're really shitheads like the father and I end up, you know, captured in a dungeon or something, you know where to look. That's, yes, that's for the best. I'll definitely, you know, let's get a, a vague timeline here. And if you 
you know, don't send me some sort of message by X time, then I'll know to uh, come tear the place the fuck down. Yeah, if it's uh, more than three weeks, uh, it might be shorter than that, but, you know, if it's any longer than that. That's fine. I'll send something I... by then. That's, yes, and if you don't, then I will end up there. Probably with some sort of large, scary something to try to, you know, intimidate them into stopping whatever they have planned. You know. Yeah. Now make sure Shadow keeps working on her recorder. And uh, oh, that was the one thing that I thought maybe she could just let go by the wayside. Uh, you know, maybe we could work on a different instrument that's just not a recorder. Just literally. What about drums? <laughs> <laughs> See, things could always be worse. And I was thinking like a lute. They're not very loud. <laughs> the nice mellow instruments we'll we'll see what's up she's getting better did you hear the perfect rendition of baby shark the other day it was, it was so masterful. appropriate for her when you really think about it. oh my god <laughs> i didn't think about it but now i am oh well <laughs> mind blown <laughs> Yeah, you just see like like math happening behind uh, Melanie's stunned face, and she's like, "Is it okay that she does this? Is it racist if we have her play Baby Shark? <laughs> like all kinds of like math she doesn't need to do. Like just like, ah, oh. yeah. Hey, what the hell did I just miss?" <laughs> Is it racist to let somebody who is the child of a shark kind of play baby shark on a recorder? Is it okay? I think she's the only person who could play that on the recorder. <laughs> <laughs> it's like black people saying the n-word. They're the only ones allowed to say it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she gets the baby shark pass. All right. All right. Goodness. And then I will make preparations to travel to uh, Traverse to pay. Okay. And I'm I'm just gonna pay someone off to like go find another job. Just give them a a little money, you know, a servant. Well, who? A servant to like, you know, get a have an opening, create an opening that I can. Oh yeah, you could probably you could probably do that. Like three months salary for these guys is probably probably a hundred gold, if even. Yeah. I'll, I'll give him a hundred. Yeah, I'll give him, you know, like a hundred fifty. Like, have a good time. You know? Okay. All right. Great. Uh, the position of a. Um, I assume you want an internal position. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Uh, just uh, kitchen aid. Uh, it's pretty good. You're uh, gonna mix stuff up. I have real good knife skills. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have the best knife skills. They see me chopping onion. I, I remember watching a episode of like um I think it was prison kitchen or something. Gordon Ramsay was working in the prison kitchen and one of the inmates out chopped him in an onion yeah, chopping contest. I, I remember that. Yeah, you're you're that guy. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> easy. You're that guy easy. Alright, um we do have that information I gave you. About... But I would also like to do things like, you know, talk about messing things up. I do want to, like, mess a few things up to see, like, how they react, you know? Okay, um, like, like, um... Who delivered wrong, late, um, that sort of, you know... How okay. spoiled are these children? How spoiled are these children? All right, um, so... Do they need to die? <laughs> Lord, Lord Trevere had two children, as you know, uh, Pace and Sable. Sable being the younger daughter, Pace being the older son. Yeah. And, you know, as um, as um, so you do you do little things, um, you know, accidentally wash Sable's whites with the with the color, like a mm -hmm. her nice like lace gloves or something of that nature. Um, are you doing this as you being the new servant? Or are you doing? Are you pinning this on other servants? 
I'm going to try to keep it to me. Okay. Um, so for, like, you know, the, the you know, turning her lace pink, uh, Sable is... Sable's not too... Sable's not mad. She's just, you know, a little disappointed that, you know, she really liked this pair. Um, and, you know, how many mistakes do you do with, like, each of them, let's say? If they start getting annoyed, I want to... I want to needle them. I want to, you know, I want to see if is there a point where it sort of changes. Is it short? Is it, you know? Okay. It's just um, kind of like reading them and trying to see. Just. All right. Um, you and your... also talk with other servants that have been there longer. And not just, you know, how do they treat the new person? Because the new person might not get as much leeway, but like, how do they treat up? Watch how they treat others and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Um... It's so, so you notice it's very hard to get Sable angry. Um, she just she does get annoyed, but she doesn't get full blown angry. Pace is a little more volatile. Um, you learn from the servants that he has been training. Um, he has been doing combat training. Um, with one of the, I forget which night it was. Let me see. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just looking. With the Blank family. Yeah. Um, it. with the Blank family. Um, so he's been there for a really long time. So coming back, so you learn from his servants. You know, after he's literally been inherit, he has literally been given his father's legacy at this point. I thought we took it away from them and gave it to Iskin. There's some complications with that now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like because because Iskin was the second son. Even though Lord Trevere is a traitor, there is a process of getting that through, um, and it's taking a while. And just because you guys save Leona, the queen has to go through the right of law. She is... She can't just snap her fingers. Um, so... The queen can't snap her fingers? I mean, oh, she so could, sad. but she'd be a crappy queen if she did. <laughs> um, I was saying, like, literally... <laughs> snapping her fingers oh but, well you know that no. after that accident with the knitting needles mm. Mm. Eh. tragic very tragic um but yeah um pace is a little more short-tempered but it's usually his what you've know like the servants have told you it's usually his sister that calms him down and pace is kind of on edge um let me get a persuasion check from you Okay. Um, I'm going to keep it to myself, but it was a natural 20. Okay. Uh, I, I, be I believe you. I'm, you uh, 29. Okay. Since you got a natural 20, you learn this outright the first week you're here. Because servants love to gossip. So, you learned that, you know, you had learned, like, shortly after the Battle of the Palace, uh, Lady Lachina had passed away. What you didn't hear was because of what her husband did, she took her own life. Ooh. So, that added a lot more emotional stress to Pace. Mm -hmm. So he is, he is very on edge, and he is like everything is pretty much for him, and and also learning about you know his uncle. Um, that he thought was like a black sheep of the family or something. Coming back, because asshole, his father was an asshole. He's just, he's not exactly a model noble person right now. Um, yeah. 
yeah, Sable is definitely taking it a lot better than he is. Um, whether it's because she just naturally has more, you know, is just handle things a little better, or roll me an insight check. Like this is for all the times. Like you know, she, you you know you know you do know she doesn't anger easily. Okay. She's definitely a lot colder than her brother. Um, she is. She's. I use this very this term very like loosely, but she's probably a high functioning sociopath. She's not necessarily a bad person, but she is. She is trying to adjust this situation and trying to think about this as logically as possible. Just kind of very cold, unemotional, kind of. Yeah, because if she realizes, like in a way, you you kind of get if she. If she goes down the same path her brother is currently going down, they are all fucked. And she, at like, at 13, and she recognizes this, she is dangerously smart. We'll see. Watch that one. So, yeah, she's definitely somebody to watch. But she's pretty young, so she doesn't exa exactly have the experience to back it up yet. 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 Okay, seeing all this, I think what Rain would do is pull the old, um, kind of, Ring of Invisibility Batman trick, you know, one night and paces, harvest when he comes back from training, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Sure. Have, uh, some, you know, watered down wine there, cold, waiting, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. And then... Uh, when he comes in, I'll just say... Kind of turns back around. I know your first instinct is going to be to scream and call for help. But I prefer just to talk. After all, we are family. Ah, oh, jeez. He like you see him still for a moment, and then like he starts to process. Okay. What do you well, want? Yeah, first I'm I'm gonna offer you something to drink. You seem pretty tired. Um, I've been very tired. Um. He kind of looks at the wine. I mean, you'd never know if it was. I know. Or I wouldn't. He's gonna... I mean, you know who I am. You know what I've done. Yeah. You know what I can. I know what you can do. But... If... If my sister was right, you wouldn't do it this way. So he doesn't seem to be very smart. She is. On those matters, I think you can trust your judgment. He'll he'll drink the wine. I drink some from a glass I poured for myself as well. All right. Uh, would you like to have a seat? Thank you, and I'll take a seat. All right. Uh, He'll join you. <clears throat> I will admit, there was a time when I imagined this. When I first found my father locked up in that tower. That was not so generous. And then my father made a point that if I were to do what I thought about doing, I would be just as bad as those who had done the same to me and my mother. I really didn't like him pointing that out. 
It sounds like we have something in common. We don't like comparisons. No, because even though they're similar. No. Stop. We'll always think they know what you've been through. I assume you've probably been through more than me your entire life. Like, you know... My yeah, had real, my troubles are a little more recent. Me. But so have you. Just in a different manner. I used to respect him. I really did. Do you think you just didn't know him? You just hide it really well. Maybe. Were you blind? I mean... I really don't know, honestly. I really don't know what to think anymore. It's just been a whirlwind of bullshit. And don't get me wrong, I'm angry at him. There's some anger towards you, but... You know, my dad was the traitor, so... And you're getting, I mean, you're getting the title of it. Well, he's getting the title eventually. It's just taking time. Yes, I've always been rather impatient about these sort of things. It's, so. it's the way things are done here. Especially in a case like this, hasn't been heard of in years, generations. Maybe if I came here, take stock of who you were, you, your sister. I think we might be able to come to a more equitable arrangement. I wouldn't really call myself a model citizen right now. I mean... Yeah, you're kind of acting like an asshole, but I've got some experience with that. <laughs> you... Doesn't mean you're not worth saving, kid. <sighs> I... The angst, I guess? I don't know. We'll see. And it might not be. But family's pretty important. I don't know <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna to be too happy dory with everyone, but my brother deserves more than what I can just give him. You two are about the same age. You should have grown up together. You should have been training with him. I'd like to at least give it a shot. I mean, should... honestly, what's the alternative? True. I mean, you can still fight it, of course. But I guess the the choices, the choice you make fight it or not, or to... I've been fighting ever since everything has happened. I... I mean, you want to be an adventurer like all the firstborn sons are, right? I did. But I don't know if I want it anymore. I don't want to leave her alone, especially after. I don't want to leave her alone. Well, I understand that. But the only thing better than one person looking out for her would be three people looking out for her.
I don't know how long you've been around here, but... You know nobility doesn't trust easily, especially around here, right? That's what's been... What's, that's what I've been taught. Yes, sir. Pack up distrustful assholes, but sometimes it can happen. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I just want to know what's I just want what's best for her at this point. I don't want I don't want anybody else to die. I don't want like he's got the title. It's fine. If he wants if he wants the place as long as we have something it's fine. I just I don't know if he wants it any more than I did. I wanted him to have it because well, I want to say fuck you. I <laughs> think he deserves everything because he's my brother. But I think we could take this out of the courts. I think we could work something up a small thing for my father and to be inherited by him your brother for you know the wrongs done to the family the death of my mother honestly she did mention something like this could happen my sister what does she suggest you do She suggested that we at least she suggested if the opportunity presented itself that at least we should not be bitter enemies. That wouldn't benefit anybody. really doesn't. It feels good for a minute. It does. I Yeah, we can work that out. And also, you know, especially since you saved the queen. I know it sounds really selfish on my part, but I honestly am just looking out for her, like I said. It wouldn't be bad to be associated with the, he kind of gestures, the good side of the family. The heroes of Leona. Mm. Mm. Is that so weird? <laughs> yeah. And you know, as uh, heroes and adventurers from time to time, we have smaller jobs. We aren't able to look into. Might be able to pass those along. I do want to keep team going. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to keep my dad's well, not my dad's, but my family's legacy. So yeah, I'll take what you're offering. Well, hire a couple of lawyers to hash things out, the particulars. We don't have to worry about that. I understand that's not what we do, supposedly, you know. Usually, but uh, I think this time could be an exception. And also, um, your sister may be the smart one, but that's a burden all of its own. I know you said you want to watch out for her, but uh, she, she'll hide it well. She's. Sometimes I think she's playing 4D chess. <clears throat> I 
the hell is fourth? Fourth dimension? What the <laughs> Exactly. I don't know where her head's at most of the time. I think this has been sufficiently awkward for both of us. Mm-hmm. I'll, uh, take my leave, let you recover. Uh, you'll need to find some more help, unfortunately. I will not be staying on. I need to hire better security. I just disappear right in front of them. I don't think that would help. And I'll leave. God damn it. <laughs> he just downs the rest of his wine. As you leave the room, you hear him screaming into his hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yes, these family is gonna be awkward for a little while. <laughs> okay. Um. So, um, Melanie, how's uh, how's uh, these next couple of weeks with uh, Shadok, huh? Dear Melanie, have not been captured. On my way back home. <laughs> Love, right? <laughs> oh, good. I don't need to mess anyone's face up. That's good. Uh, so yeah, so Melanie will, you know, try to keep uh Shattuck's schedule the same as it usually is, so she doesn't have a ton of weirdness, even though one person is, uh, you know, not here. Yeah, she does ask you where where Rain is, like. Every other day, pretty much. Well, she went on a little short adventure. She's just still on it. And she does ask, when, do you know when she's going to be back? Do you know when she's going to be back? Do you know when she's going to be back? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, maybe. I. What? No, I don't. Soon, probably. Uh, in the midst of... <laughs> Just thousands of questions. Uh, it's also this week you get this question. Oh no. Hey, Melanie? Where do yes. babies come from? <laughs> well, I knew it. I was just about to <laughs> type that in the chat. As a joke. You know, uh... <laughs> So, after two people like each other a lot, they get together Share naked a hug. <laughs> and they do stuff, adult stuff, and then the woman has a baby like nine months later, depending on race species, etc, etc. I honestly don't know the gestation times for all species in this world. So What's adult stuff? <sighs> I, Melanie, will attempt to handle this as well as possible and will answer her questions. Along with technical terms, she won't say, you know, silly terms. She'll go ahead and use the word vagina. <sighs> and she'll have the conversation. Okay. That everybody dreads. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, today's sex ed. And mm -hmm. she's she's listening. Okay. Yes. So... But what if it's two girls? Oh. Well, two girls can't actually make a baby. They would... They are able to, you know, adopt children but they can't generally do it themselves why why what yeah i'm just going to leave <laughs> like the the non-standard out of it i feel like that makes the conversation way harder for children but um you know that's yeah so for example 
you know, oh. I they are, but oh my god, it'd be really confusing for children, wouldn't it? I guess maybe not. I don't know. I have not had to have sex ed talks with a child before. Maybe they get it. It's really not. I mean, children are generally pretty. Uh... Yeah, I guess that's true. Children understand better than the Karens of the world do. Well, yeah. I mean, yes, obviously. Um, also, this was Lynn simplifying, so she didn't have to. I know, give I, this know talk. I know, I know. Oh, goodness. Um, giving you a hard time because I can. I'll remember that. Yeah, she mm. she she says because we um because um we had a, a lesson um or or a, we we had a like a, a nature lesson. She told me how. Oh. Uh, the um, salmon do it. So I was wondering if it was the same thing. Oh, thank God it is not. Oh my God. That would be so much work. Um, and you know, I, I think that most people don't lay eggs, but you know, I'm not 100% sure if dragonborn lay eggs or not. And, you know, I... Never really asked. I thought it'd be impolite to ask. But I don't know for certain. I don't think any of them have to swim up river. You know, any of the, the various races you'll meet. On a day-to-day -day basis, I don't think anyone has to lay eggs in a river where they also were born. Pretty much just salmon, I think. It seems like a lot of work, you know, mm -hmm. to swim back up the river. And then they die afterwards. It, yes. Yes. I did not know that part. <laughs> but <laughs> that's... See? Even adults can learn lots of things. You know, it's... You're never done learning. Ever. Really. Okay. Thanks, okay. Belle. She goes on to play a horrible rendition of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Oh, God. <laughs> <gasps> and it's oh, your aunt. <laughs> aunt. Yeah, she didn't real well for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. There's a lot of bad notes. Kind of ear splitting. Oh. It's bad. It's real bad. At one point, you there's a dog howling outside. It's that bad. I'm assuming that Mel has, at this point, become at least a little bit just numb. Mm-hmm. To the, uh, kind of like I could eventually almost tune out my sister practicing flute in the bedroom beside mine. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm just assuming that eventually you can almost ignore it. Right. But at the end of the song, I, I tell her that that was a good job. You're doing better with that song. That song is harder, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, the next day, she attempts uh, My Heart Will Go On, but she rolled a one. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. <laughs> this girl is ambitious. <laughs> oh. Very ambitious. You know, uh, not that anyone should not try, but sometimes it's easier to just work your way up. Just... <laughs> You know, twinkle, twinkle, little star, and my heart will go on. <laughs> Not the same level. I think that maybe there's an in-between. Uh, let's see. Maybe, I don't know, literally any song from The Sound of Music. I don't know what any... I, I... Is Zaitari still on vacation? Yeah. Yep. yep. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think that I am going to go into town for a shopping trip. Would you like to come too? Yes, please. Okay. Time for a puppy? Oh, God, no. Well, maybe. <laughs> Time for a we'll pony? We'll see what happens. How, how well has she been doing with the cats? Um, so they don't hiss at her when they, she approaches anymore. So that's okay. progress. Um, yeah, she's learned yeah. how to pet them the right way um okay. she has tried stealing their food once just to try it 
Yep. Yep. Um, yep. She got a face full of scratches. Aww. Uh, but she was okay. But okay. she's generally doing better overall. I was thinking, I am going to go speak with an armorer, but maybe we could, we can look at other things too. So, uh, I don't suppose you need armor. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I am going to find some sort of tasty fruit object that takes some time to eat. Okay. To, uh, to kind of um, keep her busy with, um, while I am, uh, speaking with whoever I think would be the best, uh, place to talk to about an enchanted shield. Okay. Um, well, you got Ninth Life, you got, um... There's a couple other magic places that you can try. Um, what kind of, sh like, plus three, or...? Um, basically, I'm just gonna say I either want to see what they have, or um, have something commissioned. I have a plus one magical shield right now. Mm -hmm. And so anything that's better, whether it be that it adds a resistance, if it's a plus two, something, you know... Just something different. Okay. Um, and uh, see what's available. Well, plus two, uh, if the, you want to add it to it, would cost you 3,000. Um, if you wanted a plus three, that's from a one, that's 12. Uh, for resistance, let's see. Like anything that's like a plus to saves, um, just anything that would up any just general survivability type deal. Um, I mean, they could give you a resistance to an element, probably. It does take a while. Mm -hmm. Like fire, cold, necrotic, radiant... Um, what would what would it take to have somebody enchant a uh, a use or two of absorb elements, which is a first level spell, mm -hmm. into a shield? Okay, well then, um... I realize it's kind of random, but it does give you resistance to that element. The element that you trigger it on gives you resistance until your next turn. So that would be like a temporary resistance, like once or twice, maybe. So, um, I'm like a recharge or just once or twice total. I was thinking a recharge, hopefully. Okay. Well, yeah, a recharge. Would it be pretty crazy? Um, so that's, fine. that's a five thousand cost if you want it on a recharge. They could do like a one d three. Hmm. I'll think about it and get back to you. Um, if you see any neat uh, shields come through, let me know. But I might just leave the one I have for now. Okay. Uh, that's no problem. Yeah, we can contact you. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to go to whatever the fantasy equivalent is of wherever people adopt puppies. And we're going to interact with some puppies and see how <laughs> We're um, gonna do a how do we do with puppies situation. I mean, you could go to like a petting zoo if you want, um, but if you're looking for specifically puppies, is there is there a, a a pound in town? Isn't there like a dog rescue? I feel like that's probably not. No, that really. I mean, uh, you, if you want like cats and dogs, you usually just go to a farm unless they do special breeds. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll go to whatever farm I happen to hear is decent for going to for dogs. Okay. And yeah. if they have puppies. Oh, yeah, there, there's always puppies. There, there's no Bob Barker in this world. Nobody tells you to spay and neuter your pets. The animal population <laughs> is cray-cray. Yeah, but there's also just random shit that eats everything, so... That's kind of true, too. Yeah. We don't have to worry about giant spiders in our world, but in theirs. Yeah, that's true. Ugh, I didn't think about that. 
Holy college is kind of fucked up. All right. Um, yeah, you could definitely t spend the afternoon going and, you know, finding a place that will let you play with some, like, farm dogs, that puppies. Okay. Very, very cute. Um, so during this whole process, as you're leaving the farm, could you roll me a perception check? I'm just trying to steal a fucking dog. <laughs> I feel like... There's no way her self would be high enough to steal a fucking dog, right? Oh, god damn it. We're gonna acquire a stolen dog. <laughs> Luckily, she didn't roll very high, so she tries to sneak the puppy off. Oh, oh and, and you you see her do this, and she's like, she just slowly puts it back. <laughs> how pets. about... Pets the head. How about uh, when Rain comes back... So in a little, in a couple of weeks, we will, all three of us, go uh, to either here or another place, uh, if there's a different place that we want to check out, and, uh, you know, see about adopting a puppy. <gasps> but what we'll do between then and now and then is we'll make sure that, um, you know, maybe we'll come here one more time and we'll make sure that we are... You know, doing well with puppy things. Okay. 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 Marvelous. Um, do you have another jawbreaker? Was that the fruit I gave her? But Was you... it just candy? <laughs> yes, Was that right. all I gave my child? <laughs> you, you, you're looking for something hard, like very difficult. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel like that's fitting. I was thinking like a fruit that takes a while to eat, but I feel like a jawbreaker is just as appropriate. <laughs> I don't. I oh. don't. I think that we should probably have a vegetable. I don't like them either, but. Here's a corn. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that counts as a vegetable. Candy corn is not a vegetable. Don't listen to your aunts. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she, uh, she'll she'll eat. She'll begrudgingly eat the vegetables. <laughs> I'll try to find. Uh, actually, I will make sure that I try to make some tasty vegetables because my upbringing did not include tasty vegetables, but my adulthood has. Now I know the truth of seasoning. So. Hmm. Yes. Please Fair. do not please do not boil your Brussels sprouts. Please roast them. <laughs> you don't think you should boil broccoli until it's real soft and you oh, kinda have to eat a spoon? Oh. <sighs> also, um, I mean children very uh they are um uh their their taste buds pick up like bitterness a lot more easily and um, oh, I knew they changed. Yeah, a lot more easily than adults do. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, because it's a, an evolutionary uh, thing where they're trying to protect themselves from poison, you know, and detecting yeah. poison in food and stuff like that. Or something so that what you're saying poisonous. is when you have a poison tester for a king, it should be like a kid. <laughs> oh my god. Take away. Checks out. Checks out. Sure. If you want to kill the kid, absolutely. Um, but yeah, so that's why a lot of children don't like vegetables um, very much. Hmm. Because they literally taste different uh, and more bitter. Okay. At least that's what I've heard. Um. um yeah. All right. Anyway. So, eventually, everybody comes back from their vacations, their trips, their excursions. Uh, yeah. Has there been any progress made on the uh, the potion? Yes. There are no more seizures. Yay! No more seizures. And, in fact, hold on. <laughs> um, so, let me...
Do 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 do. Hold on. Yes. All right. Uh, sh Demeter thinks she has a working. She wants to test it a few more times. Because she doesn't want anybody to get hurt. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, she, the liquid that she has produced from this glow vine, um, by adding the lavender caps and a couple other ingredients that she has painstakingly wrote the process to, it does come out to this red liquid that does, and it's thin, that does match what other spellcasters have prepared in the past. Um, she does want to test it on a few more creatures, but she thinks she has exactly what was written, um, of it. So, she thinks it's another couple weeks of testing, but other than that, she thinks she's got it. Okay, so, um, when is this within the fourth, fifth, and sixth? About the sixth month. About the sixth month. Okay. All right. And you should be almost done with finding your, um, with mm -hmm. all the invites and everything. So we can move on to the beginning of month seven to nine. Rain is back. Zaitari is back. Uh, oh, wait, how did my dinner go? <laughs> I, I'm going to say your dinner begins at the top of the seventh month at this point. Okay, fine. Yeah. Um, I You're think... going to be so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Six months without a dinner. So, Ronnie, um, you have gotten, at this point in time, uh, Captain Templas has settled, uh, in that little seaside town. He's taken up several hobbies. Good. Uh, he helps make buoys, so that's a thing. Uh, fishing nets, does a lot of fishing, uh, salts a lot of fish. Um, currently, last time you checked in with him, he's currently, uh, trying to perfect a chowder rest, a clam chowder recipe that is tomato based. You mm -hmm. don't know how that works. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> I could just hear the anger coming all the way from Massachusetts. That is not clam chowder. <laughs> That is a abomination. He, it is a fake. He, he, he's got a lot of time on his hands, so when you have a lot of time on your hands and a lot of ingredients, you experiment. He's going to be the first food scientist of the world. <laughs> he's going to be the one who develops and discovers agar agar. <laughs> Probably, with all the seaweed lying around. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's doing okay. He's just... He's just, he's just, he's adjusting. He's adjusting. Yeah. And he, 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 you know, his biggest fear when he mentioned to you is he does not want to waste away. Yeah. So, has a, um, yeah, during this. When we got him settled, I would have taken a lot of time to help him prepare his house. Mm -hmm. And, uh, quote unquote, bless it. Yeah. Um, which is mainly just to give him a sense of peace and Martin a sense of peace, but really it's just me walking around and look like I'm doing stuff, but I'm not, <laughs> okay. not going to hallow his place or anything like that. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, you, you stay with, you guys stay with him for, for a while. The, the, the crew is actually pretty, pretty happy with the extended shore leave. Um, you know, a t just, you know, a time to just kind of relax and all. And, you know, since they do have, these, you know, you, you guys have been doing jobs the whole time, so you got a, lot, a little extra pocket change to spend, especially since your vessel has not been besieged by giant sharks and were sharks and drakes of an unimaginable size. It's, yeah. it's been fine. Um, Marin is picking up... Um, 
the captaining duties pretty quickly. One second, please. I need you mm -hmm. for 90 seconds. Uh, my husband needs me for 90 seconds, so think about okay. what you guys are doing in the next seven to nine months. <laughs> One Mississippi, okay. two Mississippi. <laughs> yeah. Why are you sitting like this, Orpheus? Why? Um, why aren't you sending us a picture of the way Orpheus is sitting? Yeah. I'm in the process. <laughs> monster. Oh, you 25-pound monster. <laughs> Riding the rails. <laughs> Now that's the man spreading. Yeah. Oh. He was running around all over chasing a fly and then just decided he was done and just plopped down like that. Yeah, cats. Oh man, cats are. Cats fucking do that shit, man. I, right now, Coda's on my lap and I'm just rushing him and he's very happy with it. So. I, I hate him specifically because he's 25 pounds and he does this. <laughs> the size makes it disconcerting. He is. He is a very large cat. I will say, like, he takes over that whole arm of that chair, which is pretty fucking big. He's, he's Lord still boy. He's still growing. Is oh, how's all your white? Cat does doing? he have any other? He's all white. A foster cat's doing a lot better. Yay! She can actually be out with the others now. She sleeps out in the same room as them, and if she ever gets a little too worked up, she opens a cabinet, a cupboard, and just goes inside. Nice. Oh. <laughs> so she can isolate herself. <laughs> That's good. I love her problem solving. I know it's it's great. Except I wake up in the morning and I walk into the kitchen and three drawers and all the cabinets are open. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to go around every single morning and close everything. Um, but yeah, he like Orpheus like jumped on her and tried to play a little too roughly with her, uh, and she didn't freak out. Hmm really big for her. She hissed at him and swatted back and then ran away and hid in a, in a cupboard. Um, oh. He does. But she didn't have a panic attack. Oh. Um, she didn't have one of her meltdowns because she last like true meltdown she had, she got my hands really, really good and now I've got a Bond villain style scar on it. Oh no. <laughs> it starts on the, it's on my right hand. It starts on the very side of my thumb. Goes all the way up to the middle of my hand where it prongs out into two prongs, and then on the far right side of my hand, just below my pinky, I have a crescent moon shaped scar. Like she ripped me up. Jesus. And and now I look like I could be fighting James Bond, which I'm okay with. Um, yeah. But I have... you know, she's not freaking out anymore. I'm I'm so very happy about it. I've recently been getting marked up by Coda a little bit more because I've switched him to wet food and so he knows I feed him toys a day mm -hmm. at morning and at night uh, normally he's sleeping at night so I'll just say Coda and he's like Ooh? and he'll yeah. come right out from under the covers in my bedroom uh, and like look at me and go meow and I'm like it's time um, but in the mornings he'll like lay on my chest and then he'll get up and start rubbing his face on my face, um, you know, and like lightly tapping me with his uh, paws, but sometimes he has his paws extended, mm -hmm. like his claws extended. So he's gotten me a couple times on my arms and my hand, like on my right hand, I can see uh, two distinct ones. But I noticed, I think it was like yesterday or a it was a couple days ago, I went to take my shower and I looked at myself on the mirror and I don't even, I don't even remember him doing this, but I have this big fucking scratch on my boob. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? What did you do that? When you were sleeping. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, Trinket's learning how to cuddle now. Because um, she's right at like six, seven months-ish. Um, oh. So she's learning how to cuddle with people. It's very sweet. Um, she likes to be held like a football, just in like one arm. Um, um, and when I'm holding her like that, and she gets a little squirmy wormy, and she rolls off of me, she tries to stop herself. And so, it's like, the, the valley between the breasts is all cat scratches, because that's where she's like, oh. <laughs> in the cleavage zone. Um, and there was one time it felt like a zipper. I felt her get one claw, and I just felt it slide down. And I'm like, awesome. Oh. This uh, is a great feeling. Um, <laughs> I just watched her go. I'm like, okay. So I came back at the... <laughs> at the... Okay. My, my husband broke a glass in the sink, and he was using the vacuum. 
Um, uh, yeah. Uh, ooh, my tattoo stuff's arriving a day early. Yay? How are you going to put it on your back? Or do you live with somebody? What? Like, I'm just thinking, like, the logistics of trying to, like, get it, like, I'm just trying to think of, like, rubbing tattoo stuff on my own back often, and it just seems like it'd be a huge pain in the ass. Oh, I'm getting, a, like, a tattoo gun, fake skin pads, the green soap. I'm getting this stuff to start practicing tattooing. Okay. In that case, my question didn't make any sense. I thought it was stuff to put on your tattoo because you've just got a tattoo and I can oh, play I got it too. I've got a tub of that and my sister does it for me. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, that conversation was cool. Yeah, I am yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm getting a, a rotary gun, all the needles, a bunch of ink. I'm, I'm getting the goods and I'm start practicing on my leg. You're gonna use the fake skin first, right? Yeah. Once I get well, once I get used to it, I've got a whole left leg that's completely blank. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Great. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. I know. I know. And that somewhere is going to be my left leg. No one sees it ever. It's fine. <laughs> um, one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, all right. So, blessing, yay house. And I assume you're still on Tebot uh, for the rest of the seven to nine months. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Spend like spend a couple weeks, quote unquote, blessing the house and getting him going um encouraging him to like take up gardening or something um i mean where do you think he gets the, where do you think he gets the herbs for making his weird clam chowders yeah so just kind of ease him into all that stuff and then um uh, get back on the boat and take off with martin and them okay um all right yeah it's it's um he's got a lot of hobbies now it's Kind of frightening, actually. Good. <laughs> he's gonna be the scary old man. Yeah, he's he is working. Before he left, he gave you a jar of this um uh, apple pie filling in a jar. Oh, Ronnie's eating that straight. Yeah, like he. Like, it's good. He's not making a pie. <laughs> it's it's good, but you know he's still perfecting the recipe. Yeah, but it's, it's good. one of those things. Martin will come come in to check in with Ronnie at the beginning of the day on the ship, and he's just sitting there on the bed, eating it straight out of the jar. That's his breakfast now. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry, Ro. Um, but speaking of which, uh, would you like to go next? To this party? Sure. Alright. So Rosamund comes to you before, you know, you know, to help you help you and everybody set up, you know, make sure yeah, things and uh Pierre's all also um invited. Yeah. Whether he comes or not is up to Rosamund and P and him. Yeah. But. Okay. Um So like. Ro Ro so Rosie says um so, how nervous are you? Not nervous at all, darling. Um, why do you ask? Everything's going to be okay. Um, yes, you know, of course, I know that. You know, mother's uh, has been speaking with father. He's relatively less grumpy well that's good um i don't know how your father-in-law has been doing um he's the one who suggested this yeah but you know you know sometimes people get a little nervous um you know coming into the you know up true, to the day true, of the yes. event so I mean, I don't know how his if his feelings have changed um, whatsoever, but you know, just 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 asking. Um, and and how's Theo handling all this? Um, how is Theo handling it? <laughs> uh, let's see. And how's Edgar handling it? Uh, Edgar's handling it fine. 
Um, okay. Since he's the one who suggested, uh, Theo's okay with it too. He, okay. they, if they're yeah. nervous, they they're not really showing it. Well, you know, loyal are men, very stoic, but that uh, dwarf blood in them, mm. very stubborn. Mm, very, very stubborn. Um. So. Are you all right? I didn't tell father about Pierre yet. <laughs> oh. And is he coming to like have I received his RSVP? Um Yeah, yes you have. And he's coming tonight. Mhm. He he Francois suggested we should just get this over with. Um I mean, I agree. He's a fine boy from a good family. Yeah, he is. He is. Is there something you're not telling me? No. Rosamond. <sighs> she kind of like just um like kind of slinks down a bit. Um um <clears throat> Rosamond, you tell me right now. Okay, okay, okay. Um I, we've been having like some 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 talks, you know, like. Really thought she was gonna say sex. <laughs> she's she's knocked out. Conversation. <laughs> um, we've just been having some talks, maybe about marriage, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> he might have proposed. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's um I I I I I told him I had to think about it. Well, I think you have to think about the fact that father still hasn't <laughs> yeah doesn't know and you're ready to marry him yeah I mean <sighs> uh Tilda kind of like <laughs> she kind of like grimaces a little um and says not to um say what's good for the goose is not good for the gander sort of thing. Uh, but don't you think at least one of his daughters should um, inform their uh, inform him of their intent to marry before they get married? <sighs> Seems lame to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 I... That would be a good idea. Now there's added pressure to this. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. I should I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have invited him at all. I shouldn't have told you. I'm just stressing you out more. I'm so sorry. No. No, you absolutely should have told me. Should have told me earlier. I would never have invited him to this what is going to be a potential landmine of a dinner if I had known. Uh, at, at this point, um, there is like a nervous knock at the door. Um, Lady Lady Matilda and his chambers. Um, oh, your, your, yes. your, your guests have arrived. Would you like All me to... All of them? Yeah. Well, um, I see... I see um... All at the same time. Well, I see your 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 mother and father coming up the road, but um, but uh, Ed, Lord Lord Edgar and uh, Lord Theatric are here. Wonderful. All right. Um, have you seen Lord Pierre? He's in the garden. Keep him there. Okay. Will do. 
Would you? Do you need? Do you uh, and and Lady Lurzman need anything? No, no. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Rosamond, mm -hmm. perhaps you should go um, talk to Lord Pierre. Inform him of that uh, tonight is going to be potentially dicey. Mm -hmm. And if he wanted to leave, I would not blame him. Okay. Given the situation. Okay. Or if he wants to stay and add one more thing to this dinner, that's fine too. Okay. Uh, and she she quietly and quickly walks off. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And 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 still just like rubbing her. Oh, About this is five minutes later, um, uh, Theo comes in with his uh, dad. Um, hi, are you all right, dear? Welcome, welcome. Yes, I'm feeling a little nauseous. Oh, it, it's fine. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, uh, um, Lord Edgar, very Lady nice Edgar. to have you here. Oh. Very nice to be here. You have a... This is a very lovely, lovely room. Um, would you like me to fetch you some water? You don't look well. Yes, thank you. Of course. And he, go, um, he goes and finds somebody well, to get you, you know, some... we could find a, a servant to do that. Yeah, I, you know, I'll, it, I'll, I'll, I'll find somebody to get you some water. You do you just, you know, don't, don't move around too fast. And he, he goes <laughs> over, uh, leaving you and Theodric alone. Um, t is everything all right? You you look a lot more nervous than you were last time I saw you. <laughs> I kind of um, I grab him like uh, ar around the bicep kind of thing, and I like, all right, here's, very quickly, here's the situation. Pierre? has apparently proposed to uh, my sister. Okay. Yay. But my sister has not informed father of her relationship with Pierre. Oh. Oh. So, um, that is another pressure being added to tonight mm -hmm. um, that I don't know if this night can take. I don't know if I can take it. Uh, calm. Pierre's in the garden. Right. Um. Do you want me to talk to Pierre? I think it might be best. Do you want me yes. to get rid of Pierre? <laughs> oh, don't kill him. No. <laughs> like, make him leave. Or convince him to leave. I think that might be for the best, yes. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. You know, everything... And I will find Chambers. Right. Everything, um... everything will be fine, alright? Of course it will. Yes. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh. Like. Um, I will find Chambers and ask her to remove uh, Pierre's place setting mm -hmm. at the table and to rearrange it. Um, rearrange the, the place settings in, you know, such a way that it looks like he was never there, supposed to be there, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she would. She gets straight on that. Um, Thank you, Chambers. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord Edgar, uh, there's a servant who uh, gives you a glass of water. Um, mm -hmm. Lord Edgar comes in. Mm. Thank you for for finding someone to get me water. It's no problem. Uh, where did my son go? He's um taking care of a little uh, errand that I needed him to do. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Um, do you need anything else? No, no. It's just a um, lovely conversation partner. Oh, okay. Um, Until my parents arrive. Um, oh, that I can do, certainly. Um... 
So, how was the voyage here? You know, uh, yeah, Tilda will start making yeah, small talk. Little, little small talk. Um, okay. Uh, you you make small talk. Um, eventually, uh, Theodric comes back about maybe ten minutes later, um, and he uh, he says, Tilda. Father, um, Tilda, can I speak to you for a moment? Um, over here, please. Of course. Um, but I beg your pardon, Lord Edgar. Mm-hmm. Of course. Um, uh, he continues to drink his water. Mm-hmm. Um. So I have some good news. <laughs> Is I, I I was able to get uh, convince Pierre to leave. All right. So why do you look like you also have bad news? Um. Theodric. <sighs> Your sister might have said yes. <laughs> That's not bad news, but it's just... I know! I know! Not a good time. I know! Oh. I smacked the boy upside the head and told him we need to talk later, but... We... 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 We, we can fix this. Well... We can... You got him to... You got him to leave. Yes. 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 He he has left. He has left. He has left. Where's Rosamond? Um. I thought she was right behind. I'll be back. I'll be right back. Goes back towards the garden. Oh, I'm really not feeling well at all. Um. <laughs> Lord Edgar says, "Um, is everything?" Okay. Just wonderful. Yes. Um I hope you'll uh, excuse the sort of um Oh, no, 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 no. If I if I was in your position, I'd be, you know, um a little stressed as well. Um I'm sorry that maybe this wasn't a good... I I'm sorry. No, it might... no, it is a good idea. It's it's an excellent idea and it's something that I want. I've wanted to have happen for a long time. Just everything's coming together. In there the... are extenuating circumstances. I see. Um, that I, see. I don't feel um, I can properly explain. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mostly because they're not my circumstances to explain. Of course, of course. Um... Beg your pardon for being vague. Oh, no, 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 no worries. No worries at all. Um, How long is it taking my parents to show up? Because, like... Um, at this point, they are they have shown up. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, they do, do the horse is stable, that, that, that kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. Did they did they come together? Um, Like, at the same carriage? Or were they in separate carriages? Um, they came together, actually. Hmm. Um. So they, okay. but they are well. They're not holding hands or anything like that. But they're making no. polite conversation as you know. You hear them making okay. polite conversation as they walk up, to, uh, go to towards the dining room. Um, chamber opens the door for them. Um, mm-hmm. at this point, the Arctic has come back with Rosamond. Um. I look immediately at her hands. Does she have a ring on her finger? No. <laughs> okay. Um, Tilda breathes a little sigh of a re- of relief. <laughs> um, and goes over, kisses her on the cheek, and says, "We need to talk I... this. Congratulations, <laughs> best wishes. Okay. But we need to talk. Okay, okay, okay. We'll... I... Later, 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 later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um." Mother, father, mama, papa. 
Matilda, you are looking, and your mother says, you're looking lovely. How are you doing? Um, and she gives you, like, a kiss on the cheeks. Mm -hmm. um, your father, you know, you know, smiles and does the same. Mm -hmm. And then he turns <laughs> to Theodric mm -hmm. and nods okay. politely. Mm -hmm. And then he turns to Edgar. So lovely that you could both make it to the to this dinner that um, this little dinner party that Theodric and I decided to hold. Yes. And Lord. I know you're going to be polite to all guests. You see, like you see, your like your mother is standing slightly behind your father, mm -hmm. and you see her do a really quick like jab near like in the back near the side. Mm -hmm. And it's like pinch him. Yeah, it's like, and she kind of gives him that look. Don't start. And your father, mm -hmm. uh, you know, his smile falls into that practice smile you know so well. Mm -hmm. And he says, "Lord Edgar." And Edgar just looks at him, Lord Griswold. And Edgar, Lord Edgar says, shall we? And with that, your father nods and they head to the table. Mm -hmm. You see, you see, you see your mother just like sigh and just shake her head and starts walking towards the table too. Mm. Kind of like, kind of like, a, like, man. Yeah. Um, Chambers, we are ready for um, the first course. Right away. Um, and she, you Thank know, you. dashes away. Um, your mother is leading the conversation in, like, idle chit chat, um, just mm -hmm. polite conversation, kind of being like that buffer between, you know, your father and yeah. father in law. Uh, Rosamond, every once in a while, just, you know, nodding in agreement with what she's saying. Um, you know, pretty much just saying, oh, and in currently, you know, in, you know, where I'm staying, you know, trees, flowers, nice wine, <laughs> blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. Have you heard, uh, oh, did you see, you know, um, uh, Lady Magnolia's, uh, child Galloway? He's grown up so much, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you have no idea, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Um, and, you know, Edgar is at least, you know, going back and forth with your, with your mother. Um, and, you know, because he hasn't been out of the castle too much, because he's still, you know, he, you know, he's, um, he's, he's been around outside the castle and he's visited a couple, like, towns, uh, towns just to get out. Um, he's only been to Valido since recovering, like, once. Maybe twice. You know, trying to, you know, he, it's been months since, so he's getting reacclimated to everything. Um, so everything that your mother is pretty much telling, um, Lord Edgar is new, is new, is new news. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, uh, they are just... You know, making idle chit chat, and by probably the how many courses are in this dinner? There's the appetizer, the first course, oh, the first course. Um, well, the appetizer is the first okay. course. Appetizer, main course, then dessert. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. By the end of the main course, your father is participating in conversation. Um. It's still pretty guarded. Um, Lord Edgar is seems a little more comfortable now, especially since, you know, he is, you know, actively like, in, actively, you know, engaging your mother in conversation and asking, um, you know, how's, um, oh, uh, how's the queen doing? How's her, his, how's her daughter doing? I haven't seen her in a while, that kind of thing. Um, how are the Javier's? Are they doing well? Um, just, you know, just getting pretty much 
the 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 the, the Leonian news from her and your mm-hmm. mother and your mother is more than happy yep. to just go on and tell him everything she has heard and seen. Um so things are going swimmingly. So uh huh. Um I feel like there's a butt coming. And then Lord Edgar uh, asks if, um, you know, if uh, gets into the gets into a part of the conversation where he starts to talk about, you know, you and Theodric, and then asks about Rosamond and what's happening with her currently. Uh huh. Um. And, you know, um, is she, you know, if, um, you know, she must, you know, there must be a lot of um, very, uh, uh, a lot of young men or women um, that... Vying for her attention. Yeah, vying for her attention. And Rosamond gets really quiet. (laughs) And then Edgar kind of just kind of picks up, picks that up. And attempts to segue into another subject. And then you see Theo just stiffen and he's like, oh no. <laughs> um, and then dessert comes out. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> and there's kind of like, you see Theo, um, like there's like a, there's like a brief moment, Lord Edgar is just like, looking at Theo and Theo's like kind of like mo- like kind of casually puts his hands under his chin and kind of makes the a very very slight no motion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Edgar is Cut it out. Yeah, Edgar Ed- Lord Edgar just sits there kind of like with a slight realization on his face and he just slow it kind of just like okay. All right, I see, I see, I see. Oh, God. So how much of this does my father and or mother notice? Uh, your father picks up on this right away. Yep, he yeah. rolled a nat 20, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. Your mother seems kind of oblivious. Good um, job, Mom. Yeah. Um, and your father, Lord Griswold says, Is there something wrong? And um, Laura Edgar says, uh, of course not. Um, he tries to segue, okay. He tries to segue into another su- He fails to segue into another subject. Jesus Christ. Um, ugh. Um. And then Theo attempts to segue into another subject. I would, but I have literally no other subject that I could think of. Right <laughs> now. Um, you have a pretty high in like insight, so I'm just gonna yeah. give this to you. Um, your the, Theo is is able to like guide the conversation into something um, politic wise that he asks for, you know, your father and his father's opinion on. Uh-huh. But you can tell you, your dad knows something is up. For yeah. sure. Like, he he's like, he kind of has that, I'm not going to forget this face. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, she could use sending. We can help. <laughs> we have a re- child and we have a recorder. Oh, God. That would not help here. Um, um, but eventually, you know, dessert comes i just kind of kick rosamond's uh <laughs> leg not like gently not enough to make her girl like ah you know or anything like that but just kind of like this is your damn fault <laughs> rosamond has been quiet <laughs> i feel like this is very pot and kettle yeah <laughs> it is it yep, absolutely yep. is yeah <laughs> absolutely is um but you but know it's also making things awkward for tilda and well, therefore 
Um, but yeah, uh, dessert goes, and now now there's some you know, if you want a port, if you want a coffee, some tea. Mm. That 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 period of time. And there's you know your dad is now a little more comfortable, especially with some alcohol in him. Right. Uh, so he's not as guarded as he was at the beginning of the dinner, and um. Uh, Lord Edgar eventually suggests, you know, um, you, you, you know, you, of course, like, maybe we should, you know, maybe later in the year, go on a hunting trip. You know, I can take, uh, I'm a pretty really sure... good way to murder somebody. <laughs> uh, I'm sure the, the, uh, Hubert boys would love to come. Um, cause you know, they, there was a hunting lodge uh, and... Mm-hmm. You know, we can bring, uh, you know, Theodric, you know, a couple of your uh, men as well and, you know, have have um, have a good time. And at this point, your your father is. Let me see. I am begging any god who will listen <laughs> that Rosie does not like. Give herself away at the mention of the Hubert boys. Any god that'll listen, anyone. She she kind of stiffens, but like your 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 father in law, it makes a very convincing good argument about you know we should just have some fun you know this could be a good bonding experience, and and your father is just like you know that would you know kind of like you know that would be a good idea I haven't been hunting in a while, um I could use another stuffed mountain goat that would be great. You know, it would be great. It would look really nice in the foyer. How uh, many stuffed mountain goats does he have right now? Um, who knows? At this point, who knows? Uh, last time, uh, Tilda was at the place too. Okay, that's sure. a reasonable number. Hang There's on, may- three Billy goats gruff, right? So you know, yes. Maybe you know, maybe they could. Maybe they could. If they, if they're lucky, maybe elk. Uh, but it, it, everything, you know, eventually, you know, the evening winds on and eventually, you know, Edgar is getting, um, you know, everybody's getting a little tired and, um, you know, dinner, the meal commences and your father tells us, well, that was, that was lovely. We should do this again sometime. And Lord Edgar says, we must. We must. Um, Agreed. This is a time for healing old wounds and uh, forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Um, and in a show of goodwill, um, your father actually extends his hand to Lord Edgar. And it's like, well, until we meet again. There's just like a firm handshake, like, and a nod. And your, your, you know, your mom and your mom and dad, you know, tell you, you know, you know, give their, give, give their love and <laughs> give their love and, you know, tell you to, you know, be well and, you know, they'll see you again soon. Um, you know, Theo's mm-hmm. like hugs your mom, gives her chest and her cheek, you know, shakes her dad's hand, mm-hmm. and um, you know, says uh, Lord Edgar is going to go back. Uh, Theo says he'll he'll be back later tonight, and you know they, uh, Lord Edgar, you know, gives you a a hug and says we'll see 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 each other again soon, and he leaves. So it's now only. You, Theo, and Rose, Rosie, in the in the left there. Um, Rosie said she'll she'll be home in a little bit. So, um, Theodric tells me that you said yes. I did. I'm sorry. No, no, it's nothing to be sorry about, darling. It's... I'm very happy for you and Pierre. I really am. Um, 
I just think father deserves to know. I'll be with you when you tell him. Okay. And I'd prefer it not be on an occasion of uh, two feuding families who've been feuding since long before uh, for longer than any species can remember. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. I get it. I Coming together to try to have a peaceful dinner. <sighs> but now that it's over, you must tell me everything. Okay. <laughs> everything about the proposal, everything about your um, feelings, and we're going to have a gap session. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Theo's like, I'm. I'm gonna go find Shadok. <laughs> if she's still awake. Or pastries or somebody. Um, I'm gonna. Be prepared for a recorder um, recital. Actually, I'm gonna go to the tavern and. Talk it's to that. the same place right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He, he goes off. He leaves you guys. Yes, we all deserve gap. a drink. Um. Zaitari, where are you up to? That's a good question. Uh, I believe... I don't know how long this will take me, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do uh, the Raven Queen's Choice stuff. Okay. So I did tell you that the... <sighs> the place in Dighton's going to be hard. To convince. They're very secretive of their book. Um, you can roll a persuasion check. Okay. I'll try. Nice. Um, and what exactly are you just telling them outright that you're interested in information with the relic? Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I'm going to be very straightforward about it. Do you show it to them? Do they seem... Would I be able... Does it seem like in talking to them about trying to learn about this relic uh, that they have intentions good or ill for it? You can roll an insight check. Okay. They they're curious because a nobody not many people know about it. Uh huh. So you you kind of think maybe you're you sound like you're looking for it. Um, they're trying to get that same sense about you as well. Like, what do you want to do with this information? Okay. All right. I will show it to them then. Okay. I just want to make sure they're not going to try to, like... Knock you out and take it. it from me. Okay. All right. Um, when you show it to them, like, the head of the... The head of the, um, Tembo's eyes go wide. That's why you're interested. What do you want to know? Just general about... And he gestures to the thing. Yes, I'm just curious to know more about it. Okay. Well, it was... We only... We have what's written in, in the book. Um... What we can tell you plainly is that uh, it was created for her first champion. Um, and subsequently, she chooses her next champions. The only reason you're wearing it currently is because you were to be her next. Um... It has different names, and it has different shapes, but its presence is always the same. Um, it actually hasn't 
from what I've read, and this is the um, the older uh, this this uh, this is um, uh, this is Father Galen. He he tells you it hasn't changed much from its previous form, from what I've heard. What I've heard. Um, and it will, of course, it will probably suit your needs as as it sees fit. The only thing I could really tell you is about the sentient nature of the necklace, if you care to hear it. Of course, I'm curious to know anything. Uh, also, I want to round back to that. Uh, I'm apparently a champion of the Raven Queen? As you must have done a great service to her in order to be one. Uh, so Tori will kind of think for a second. Oh, yes, I suppose that would be correct. <laughs> um, but... it's just, it's, just, it's just odd to me. You know, I may have done a service for her, but it wasn't for her. <clears throat> if that makes sense. <laughs> um, real clear. It was a. I think I understand, says Father Galen. It was a mutually beneficial task. Yes. Okay. I've, I've never worshipped the Wa Raven Queen. It's not something I've ever done, I suppose. My <laughs> focus was always on Corellin, given my propensity for the arts. But now I'm wondering if... I don't know... Should I start praying? I don't know how this works. <laughs> I don't think. I think, Father Galen says, I think you should just continue what you've been doing. As for. Because. The various champions that I've heard through from stories weren't exactly the most devout. Of folk that she has chosen. I see. Yes. Okay, well that gives me a little peace of mind, I suppose. Now, what's special about this particular relic, as opposed to others I've heard of, is the sentient nature of the relic. The voice from the relic from the stories always seems to be different. Sometimes it's male, sometimes it's female, sometimes it's in an, a neutral voice, different personalities. Mine, yes, mine seems to be in the more neutral voice. Hmm. There is a theory, and because I've never possessed the item that's in your possession, I can't confirm nor deny this theory that inside that relic is the soul of a chosen being a soul place in there that they think would be best to guide you because it always seems to be different it could be a previous champion it could be a friend you knew um, in life and that had passed on. Could be a family member. It could be a number of people. But it always, as opposed to other types, other relics, it always seems to change with this one. That is very interesting. I will have to. I suppose meditate on this information uh, have a little chat with the uh, being that is in my necklace but I'm not gonna you there is a great responsibility having an item such as that of course but I trust her. I trust the lady has 
<laughs> I trust the lady chose you for a reason. As cryptic as that sounds, but then again, with the Raven Queen, many things are cryptic. I think that's yes, all it I would seem that way. I think that's all I can tell you about it. Even even the book doesn't have that much. Oh, it's certainly more information than I've ever had. So, thank you. You're welcome. You be well. And may the feathers guide your path. Uh, Zaytori kind of gives a puzzled look, but, you know, understands the meeting and says, uh, you as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, so she's not going to go to Exus uh, if she, after she got all the okay. information. Sounds uh, good. At the House of Death. So. Sounds good. Um, KK, you're back. What up? Yeah. Um, at, like, after, uh, after KK gets back, I will tell her, So, you're rubbing off a little bit. Shaddock did try to steal a puppy. Just throwing that out there. She didn't do a very good job of it, so you need to rub off better, I guess, but... You know. Maybe not yet. Thank you, good point. Also, maybe we're going to get a puppy if you're, you know, uh, want to yeah, that, puppy. Yeah, that's kind of like that, that questioning look was starting to come off. Um, we're getting a puppy. Maybe. You know, okay. I don't know. We're working on it. We did try to steal a puppy, which did... Uh, it's not a good mark. You know, attempted puppy theft is... not I... in the favor of puppy adoption. I... I never had a dog when I was growing up. Fun. <laughs> you know, the very exuberant animals. Lots of drool. I I... Hmm. And what kind of puppy was it? Adorable? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, the, the adorable breed. Yes. I mean, I think it was just a lot of dogs that just kind of had sex and dogs. other dogs happened. It wasn't like a specific type of dog, to my knowledge. But I also don't really know a ton about dogs either, so... Oh, also, I got to have the conversation a bit. Um, for two weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> happened. Well, that must have been fun. I'll prepare, be prepared for the follow-ups uh, that I'm sure are coming. Oh, yes, I'm sure. She asked, she wanted to know if it was the same as salmon. And I told her no. That, thank God, we do not have to swim upstream to where we were born <laughs> and then die. So, you know, honestly, I feel like it, it could have been a worse conversation because I could definitely say that we're not salmon. So, no, it. no, that's not salmon, no. And and the dying afterwards, that, that would be problematic. It would. There'd be so many diamonds involved. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Death Treasure Ward. ring would it be empty. I guess you could just cast Death Ward every time you decided to. Oh, poor Ronnie. <laughs> 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 Run into Ronnie's room. Ronnie! Ronnie, we need you for a second. <laughs> uh, I'll have to go see her. Um, did she miss me? She asked when you were coming back on the hour every hour for a while there. So I think so, yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I don't think I really... Oh. Uh, I guess I'll check in and see how uh, any kismet research is going. The poor guy. I keep forgetting about him all the time. Ah... <laughs> uh... Research has been going well. Um, 
Research has been going average. <laughs> so, is it, uh, I know, library, not the most exciting place to be, but it's not a skull either, you know? <sighs> he won't stop talking about rendering my soul from this gem. <laughs> That, that's gotta be awkward. <laughs> yeah. It is. It sounds painful. You know, we'll, we'll try to find something that's, you know, less... Where are we gonna get a <laughs> gallon of vampire blood? Oh, that doesn't sound bad at all. <laughs> Ooh, that... Hmm... I might take a little trip to Barovia, but, um... Ah, hmm. uh, yeah, that's, that, that's gonna be a little harder to, um... to acquire, but, uh, I think it's doable. Okay! How many vampires, are... How many vampires exist in this world now? Mm, is, is there, like, a gaggle? Like, there weren't that many when I was around. I mean, I don't really know. I try to stay away from, you know, vampires, blood sucking, so, you know. Really. Well, your friend's making some progress. A little bit. Eh. Uh, I, I imagine you shared with him uh, some information about uh, some various items. Any, um, n you know, nearby might be an easy little uh, pickup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I told I told him about the one in, um, in Iron Fast. Yes, that was the... Burglar's lens. Uh, yeah. Uh, you'll you'll like what it does. It um. Uh, would you like the power to see through walls? I mean, who wouldn't? Exactly. TMZ's coming together. <laughs> <laughs> that is a power that you should uh use very carefully and. Did be not aware. need to know that. Did not need to know that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well. Like, uh, oh no. Um, I, yeah, if we, if we ever head up near Southern Rober, I mean, things have changed a little bit. Um, I can probably, like, tell you... <laughs> tell you, well, guide you to where exactly it might be. I don't know if there's a town on top of it or something. Is, uh, this something we could do, like, hey... Somewhere in the three month road trip, girls weekend, or is this something you'd rather handle like in a actual session? Um, uh, maybe in an actual session. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's see. I think that's everyone. So we are now approaching the ninth month. Ah. <sighs> So, uh, I'm gonna Melanie teleport. has something that she's yeah, got ready to I, do, but... I have to, I have to tell everybody this. Zaitori teleports back, and she tells Tilda she needs to come to the keep. We have to have a discussion ASAP. Okay. Uh, Tilda would also have wanted to gather everyone together, so... Okay. Well... Uh, she would tell everybody to gather in the area near Ronnie's, um, shrine. Um, and, oh, this is really upsetting me. Um, you could tell that Zaitari is upset, <laughs> and she's kind of pacing back and forth. Um, and after everybody gathers, oh, good, everybody's here. Um, well, this is... <clears throat> I really don't know how to say this other than just saying it, but uh, it seems Ronnie has passed. Oh. How do you know this? Uh, Marin sent me ascending. Uh, she said that we are invited to the funeral. It is a burial at sea. Um, I'll contact her for the location. I can teleport us there, but 
I imagine that everybody would want to go. Of course. Uh, yes. We'll have to go see if Shadok they were relatively close in the first yes. couple months. I'm yeah. certain that she'll want to go. It's uh it's at Port Cyan. Goodness, was it just his age? Uh, I would imagine so. She didn't give too many details, given the short nature of sending, of course. So. Okay. I. He was an older gentleman. I understand that that's the inevitable end, but it is sad that it happened so soon after we started to know him. Yes, it is. Tilda nods. Tilda, I'm sorry. You said that you wanted to say something, and I just... Well, um... Now isn't a particularly good time to say it, but... I'm pregnant. Oh, is that why your stomach hurt? I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, same. Sharani reincarnated. <laughs> <laughs> Carrying a turtle. <laughs> Rain does not say that. Okay, I think this is a good t time to end it. We have three more months to go, but... Okay. Oh my goodness.